Oh, sorry, I forgot to unmute. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, we had Titans. Hi, Titans. Hi, Mag. Also, the 7TV settings override the Franker Phase Z settings. So, I'm really annoyed. Oh my god, hi, Chris. Can we get some yo's? Hello. So now, because, like, I, I think Franker Phase Z has a lot more, like, customizable, like, settings on your screen if you're watching on desktop. It's... It's annoying. I'm annoyed. I'm gonna have to fiddle with it later. Hi, Keelan. Welcome in. Hi, Cookie. First time chatter. Hello. Can we get some peace? I to yo's. Hello. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me, but welcome in. Oh my god. Hi, Pride. Twitter? Ain't no way. <laughs> yeah, but Keelan, that was insane. I literally posted my tweet, and then you liked it within literally 20 seconds. Insanity. I mean, guys, if you follow my Twitter, make sure you have notifications turned on, because I usually do go live tweets as well. Oh my god, one minute to go, everybody? Huh? Ashley slightly changed my camera angle today, that way I can actually show off my fit a little bit. You guys will see briefly. Shortly? There'll be a brief intermission. <laughs> okay, okay. Feed Kim? What? Mods banned, Mac. Mods? <laughs> I don't play games so badly. Do your homework first, bucko. I'm so excited because- or not excited, but more so relieved because next week I have, um, what'd you call it? Spring break for school, so no homework all week next week. I prefer he or they, but I don't really mind. You can call me either my user or just Cookie. We love that. I'm gonna call you Cookie, but welcome in. Feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. We're gonna play some freaking Mario Kart. The damn Cookie Ema. I think it's funny, and I'm keeping it because I think it's hilarious. Okay. Oh my god, it's five minutes. Oops. I'm late. I'm late. I'm really, really late. 24 hour stream next week? No way. I would literally Minecraft myself. I did say for my birthday I would do an, a, a 12 hour stream. But uh, okay. Those stream marathons and like the 24 hour streams, they're literally no content. They're boring as frick. So I'm changing the music. Hi, Quack. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Man, so many chatters. Okay, music. Yo, I'm live. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. We had Quack, Titans, Mac, Cookie, new chatter. Um, Pride, Chris, and they're just starting to screen. Thank you guys for chatting. Um... Oh no, ain't no way. Yeah, we hit the sub goal. How? Holy moly. Um, Titans came in to stream or chat like a few minutes before I went live and then they gifted five subs to the offline chat. Wait, let's see who actually got them. Oh my god, hi Kobobo. Hi Potato. Let's see if I can see. Let's see. Ed Weezy got one. Ray got one. And Tanuki Brian. Holy moly. Thank you for another gifted sub, Mac. Thank you. I went to Quack. Better enjoy the emotes, but thank you! I think- is that the first- I think- no. I think that's the first time somebody's gifted in the offline chat. <laughs> thank you, Mac, for another gifted to Cookie. Nice! Okay, both of you guys better use the emotes. Is the game muted? Wait, I literally can't hear it. Oh, I'm just deaf. <laughs> So I'm not using headphones today. But thank you, Mac. Can we get some wax in the chat room? Thank you. Thank you. Um Yeah, so use the emotes. Enjoy them. Have fun. Um I wasn't planning on doing a sub-only stream today, but I guess I gotta. I guess I have to. Oh wait, I did my nails. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was gonna stream on St. Patrick's Day, and then I was really sad, so I didn't. So we're live today. Um but I did do my nails for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah, but on St. Patrick's Day, I didn't go live and then I hung up with my friend, so. 
all was good. Also, I went thrifting yesterday, and this is one of the pieces I found. Isn't it cute? I'm not gonna do a full body twirl. No ass on screen. But this is like, it fits me perfectly, because I went thrifting for a few hours yesterday, because I was looking for pieces for... Should I grab them? I don't want to grab them, honestly. Um, because I haven't folded them yet. Um, so, because I was looking for pieces, because art website is launching next month, everybody. Go follow. Um, I have my art channel pinned in the title, and also I have the social media I just linked in the chat. The website will be launching in April, so I'm like, I need to... Because I have an idea for what type of fit I want, so... Go do it. <laughs> my sister pressed alt for nice. That's a good prank. <laughs> okay, so I got this top. I got a pair of overalls. I got a few shirts. And then I got these crazy jeans. They are posted on my Twitter. I posted a picture there. So if you want to see, go peep the Twitter. And then, yeah. So that's what I did yesterday. And then I have a fuck. <laughs> I have a boatload of homework to do. Because it's the final week of this class, and usually they have everything due a few days before Sunday, so everything is due like Friday, so I'm freaking out. But you know what? We'll still do a sub only stream tonight. Oh, uh, thank you guys. Wait, wrong finger. Thank you guys for hitting the sub goal. Ain't no way. Meg Esports is eating good this month. We're at 77 subs? Oh my god. I think our next sub goal stream is 90, so we'll, I'll put the goal at 90. Don't, don't hit it today, please. That's insanity. We were practicing Mario Kart yesterday. Nice, nice. Okay. Another thing I wanted to talk about. Oh my god, it's 11-11. Make a wish. Oh, it's too, it's too late. It's 11-12. Awkward. Um, usually we host a Meg Esports Mario Kart tournament every month, right? And the last Sunday is going to be this Sunday. Will you guys get upset if we skip March and then do it in April for the birthday stream? Thoughts? Thoughts? We'll think about it today, but I don't know. <laughs> Technically, I have money. Don't do it! Only if you're, like, rich, you should give subs. Or sub with Prime. Oh, oh my god, I saw the funniest thing this morning. So, I was gonna remind everybody, um, if you watch the stream and you see something funny, freaking clip it, okay? And whenever, every few days, I will check whatever clips are made of my channel. And I looked at my video producer this morning, and there's a clip called Mario is Gay? I didn't watch it, because, like, why would I rewatch my own stream? I know what the stream is about. I know what I said, but just the title was so funny. <laughs> um, if you're watching on desktop, click the videos and clips tab, then you can see it. Yeah, it was called Boba who did it. It was... <laughs> I saw the clip and I, I, I just saw the title and I literally could not stop laughing for like, no joke, two minutes straight. Though. So thank you. That made my day. That made my day. <laughs> Um, is there anything else? And Chatters, the title is not clickbait. Yesterday when I was out doing errands. <clears throat> I decided to treat myself. And I did buy some hashtag not sponsored crumble cookies. I won't be doing it now because I need to wait a little bit before I eat. So instead of having like my protein shake, I'll just have cookies for lunch because they're a frick ton of calories. So we'll probably do it after Mario Kart today. Um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, story times. I'm, I'm going to answer all of these on the cue card. Feel free to screenshot. Also, feel free to ask me questions, you know, goof and gaff as we normally do, everybody. We're gonna play some freaking Mario Kart. Also, I changed the camera angle slightly. That way, people can actually see my fit. Also, because I really like this shirt. Oh, because, like, when I went thrifting yesterday, I bought, like, a bunch of things, right? And then everything costs less than $60. It was actually insane. Guys, 
buy secondhand if you can. It's not necessarily too environmentally good because you know the clothes are still made, but it's better than buying fast fashion, right? Okay, so I'll do a few practice rounds of the DLC and then go from there. It's still weird getting used to like the full screen Mario Kart overlay. Not gonna lie. I just ate a bunch of gummy bears. I feel ill. I think with candy, you can only have like max three to five pieces depending on what it is. Because I know I get a little sugar rush. Oh my god, I, I still have so many chocolates to eat from the uh, February gifters. I have way too many. But I've been having like one a day. One a day. <laughs> now I'm gonna practice with 150cc because with online, you usually just get 150, so it's nothing too crazy. 10 pieces minimum for you? No wonder you're zooted all the time. <laughs> Okay, wait, maybe I'll do one practice with 150, 200, and then online. I think I'll do that. Oh! <laughs> Frank! Well, you're no longer with a 50cc online. Yeah, that's honestly... kind of sad. <laughs> like, imagine having to play in 50cc. That's like actual baby shit. Yeah, I know I'm talking really loud. I'm sorry. Oh my god! I played 50cc and I thought it was correct? Dude! That's so bad! 50cc is so slow! I tried 50cc once and I almost fell asleep. Same! Back when I started streaming, I, one of my initial challenge runs was trying to get gold trophies in every single CC in pre. And I can just imagine how bored everybody was, who was watching me play 50cc. No wonder I had no viewers! I don't think 50cc is enjoyable for anybody, not gonna lie. Like, playing or watching 50cc for the next tournament? No. Everybody would literally quit. They would unfollow, unsubscribe. Maybe you guys might actually- or maybe I might actually win, honestly. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm cracked. I got first. Is it cringe if I become a Birdo main? Be honest. Cause, you know, she's cute. I feel like I can handle her pretty well. Like, she, I don't, is she a heavy set or a medium set character? I don't know. I know a strat is to choose, like, a smaller character. The way they take up less of the screen so you can see the track easier, but... I kinda like Birdo. It's a little bit cringe? Okay, that's not very nice. Any Birdo defenders in the chat room? Question, best Pokemon game for the DS or 3DS? Um... I have no opinion because I was not blessed with a DS when I was younger, so... I have no answer. I'm fine with Birdo? Mid? What? <laughs> Are you gaslighting me right now? How did they get both item boxes? <laughs> Sorry, the, the thunk sound. 
Sorry, I'm not really distracted by the chat room right now. Not because of you guys, but there's new, like, third-party emote settings, and it changed the display of everything, and it's really bothering me. Like, if you use, like, 7TV, Frank, or Phase-Z, it's, it's different, and I hate it. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. You ready? That would have been a crazy skip. That could have got me to like first place. Oh my god, hi Crystal. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Okay, I fell off. I fell off. Ooh, I will gift you a tier one sub. Okay. Let's do that right now. The Sorry, I'm like getting legitimately tr not triggered. But like, the chat looks so different. And I don't like it. Okay, Crystal gets a sub, everybody. I'm getting <laughs> my second laptop. Yes, everybody, I do have two laptops and two phones. I deal meal. It's processing. There we go. Enjoy your gifted sub crystal. You're so close to a sunflower badge, hon. <laughs> if you don't know, if you save your channel points, I gift you a sub because I have two laptops, therefore I am rich. Oh my god, is that piece and art gifting a sub? Everybody should go follow, please. Guys, I'm down five bucks. funny how the top gifter of the channel is peace and underscore 17 and it made me mad you know none of y'all can say that i don't appreciate the chat room because i've gifted you guys over a hundred subs throughout the whole course of my twitch journey okay you might even call me a socialist i give back to the chat room uh, the main reason why i give subs is because I, I think it's a fun way to, like, encourage people to watch during the live and also, like... It's nice seeing people use your emotes in the chat room. Everybody, what's your favorite sub emote? If you have a sub. <clears throat> You're a Birdo main now? I think I might be a Birdo main too, I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to give 10 to myself right now. Epic. We love <laughs> the infinite money glitch. Imagine scrambling my words to make me sound like I'm the villain. How am I supposed to interpret your messages? I... Okay, whenever I read any message, whether it be like in chat or like regular texting, I just think everybody hates me, okay? I read everything with like a negative tone. Even if it's nice. That's why when I'm texting sometimes and I want to like sound like super nice or super positive, I will put like an exclamation point just to like reassure the other person that yeah I'm like genuinely happy I spoke to my therapist about that yesterday did it work what do they say you want to leak can I get some free help I don't want to see what she said to me. Okay, valid, valid. You don't gotta leak. 
I mean, when I was in therapy, I would literally tell all the techniques I learned to my friend. Because this was a friend who um, was debating if they wanted to start therapy, and I was like, you know, I could just tell you the, the strats. Like, I, I wouldn't, like, say anything too personal about me, but I was like, oh, you know, this is how you can self-regulate and how you can possibly manage any intrusive thoughts you have. And they were like, very cool, very nice. Oh my god, I just realized I have a huge lead. Holy moly. Oh, I thought the race wasn't over. Oops. A megaphone streamer. <laughs> that is some great advice. Oh my god. I will be live on April 1st, everybody. Hopefully. Because April 1st is a Saturday this year. The, the only reason why I don't know if we'll be able to do a tournament on Sunday is because I might have to see my friend this weekend. Because, um, I just want to make sure I can be there if they need me, you know what I mean? Ooh, I'm evil. I've had that happen before to me in the past? Oh no! Not Keelan triggering that. Tell your friend I said hi? They don't even know you. They don't- they don't even watch Twitch. <laughs> the only thing they know about Twitch is that it's bad. Wait, did you guys see how Twitch had to lay off like 400 employees? Am I gonna get fired? Yeah, I'm actually charting. Crazy save. You know what else is crazy? Not following the channel, because everybody, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Can we, um, hit our follower goal today? Shit! <laughs> I'm trying to curse less when I stream. Like, I'm definitely trying to, like, remove the F word from my vocabulary. Not the slur. The one that rhymes with duck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I remember something so funny. <laughs> so, one of my roommates, they're like... They've had, like, a series of new... They've had a series of interviews for, like, a new job. So, we've been, like, role-playing and practicing, like, asking and answering questions. And... Wait, they were like answering a question and they were like pausing and I was like, what are you, what are you thinking about? And they were like, I don't know. I'm thinking of so many ways I could answer. I was like, well... <laughs> I was like, what are you thinking about? Saying slurps? And they were like, yeah. And they're like, well, no, no, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Sorry, that makes no sense. Literally, my story makes no freaking sense. But anyway... I was joking about them saying slurs, but then they didn't, and then they, like, jokingly admitted to it, and it was really funny. Wait, so you're not removing the slur from your vocab? What? That's not what I'm saying. I swear to God, Crystal's always trying to get me cancelled. The coins are Yoshikuns? Yeah, they're cute! I think that track is, like, the best designed out of the new waves. That's the goal to get me cancelled? I think we should un-VIP Crystal and never let them win again. My chair is creaky now and I hate it. I fell off. I only got 48 points.
Sorry, I, I giggled when I saw Berto White. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <clears throat> Yeah, if Tanuki did compete in the tournament, you wouldn't have placed. I'm honestly still surprised that Wolf got first. That was actually insane. And if maybe Tanuki was there, Wolf might have gotten second or third. For a real move popped off for what? I mean, the funny thing about all you kiddos who are in school still, you guys have so much free time. Unlike us adults who have real jobs, like me. I'm clapping them twice. I was thinking about this last night. And for the most part, streaming is considered a hobby because, you know, I don't make sustainable income. It's nothing like crazy. But you do put a lot of time into it. I usually put... 10 to 20 hours actually live depending on, like, how I feel. But then I spend so many hours, like, offline editing clips, like, engaging on social media, like, answering comments and the like, where it's basically a job. And I, I try to treat it as such, because I try to be, like, as... Not professional. But I, I try to take it seriously. Because I do see the potential in it. <laughs> where is Kim? So we can talk about unemployed people? Yeah, where is Kim? They, they're clocking in late today. Where are they? I'm gonna have to write her up. Oh, no! <laughs> Because, oh, guys, guys, my YouTube shorts channel, um, it's Peace in 17 Clips on YouTube. I just hit 800 subs. It'll be a while before I'm eligible for monetization, but 800 subs on YouTube, that's crazy. And I've had that channel for a little over a year because I started it in December of 2001. Or 2001, 2011, 2021. Oh, my God. So everybody, go sub to the Clips channel, please! Exclamation Clips in chat to get the link. Oh no! <laughs> they followed me on Twitter, so I gotta be careful about what you post. Shouldn't you be careful at all times? Like, you don't see me posting about wands. Okay, I should actually look at my cue card. Okay, bye, Crystal. Just watch the VOD. Watch the VOD easy. Any VOD watchers in chat? Okay, I'm actually gonna look at my cue card now. I have no joke- oh, frick, like 15 toppings to, to write. You watched VODs the other day? Yeah, I saw because you are clipping. Thank you for clipping. Be honest. Do you actually watch the VODs or do you just watch the VODs to clip that way you can get $25 every month? Be honest. No shame in it. I Plus $25? That's like... Half my bank account right now. Okay, you wanna know something crazy? Because I think a while ago we were talking about like credit scores and the like. And so for the month of February, I intention <laughs> no. I intentionally let myself be like five hundred dollars in debt that I'm gonna pay off this month. And my credit score went up by 30 points. And I was like, what? Because it went up from like 720 to 750. And I was like, what the fuck? Yes, I swore. It was crazy. I was like, how, how did it increase so much? Not, I don't know if that means I should be in... That I don't know if that should mean I should be in like... 
debt of $500 every month. Girl, what are you buying? Groceries, you motherfucker! <laughs> and wait, what else did I buy? Oh wait, I bought the capture card too, because I put that on my credit card for that month. Fuck. Freak! Yeah, because the capture card was $200 and then groceries. Because I think all of my regular Twitch, like, my regular monthly subscriptions, like my phone bill, my YouTube premium, my Twitch subscriptions. And now I have, like, another, like, I gotta do the math. Another, like, $80 I have to spend for, ooh, for the art website. So that means my monthly expenses range for just me, for just me. Are probably like 200 a month which isn't bad easy I want Taco Bell then go get Taco Bell easy I have a Taco Bell like literally around the corner and I have no desire to buy from it. <laughs> I think it's because there's a novelty to getting food that you can't get all the time. Because I remember back at my hometown, there's a Taco Bell like a mile away. So whenever we got Taco Bell, it was kind of special. But now that it's around the corner, I'm just like, I can literally get it anytime I want. Oh, no items? I still don't know how to do this track properly. Okay, I'm gonna practice getting the coins on this track, at least. Because I still have yet to get on the upper path right up here. Oh, another thing I just remembered! So, all the current clips that I'm posting on like TikTok and YouTube right now, they're all from a stream where I did a challenge run where I had to intentionally get last for lap one, and then see how far I could get from last and try to get first. And I have, like, nearly 30 clips from that stream. <laughs> so that means for basically a whole month of clips content, it's just gonna be me in last place. <laughs> and I, I didn't realize it until, like, I got a good handful of comments. They were like... <laughs> they were like, man, you're in last place the whole raised skull emoji. And I was like, what? And then I looked at the couple, I was like, oh my god, it's from the challenge stream. It's so bad. How do you not have a savings account? I feel like most any parent will help you set up a savings account when you're little. But you know what's something fucked up? Because, like, my grandma, she gave me, like, a few thousand dollars when I was little, and that was put into, like, my savings account for college. But then when I was like 13 or 14, my parents, because it was a joint account, joint account, um, they took the money from my savings because they needed rent money. So, oh my god! So, I didn't have any money for college because my parents took it. Sag. Anyway. You didn't have one until you were 17? I mean, like, I had one, I just never had access to- or wait, I had access to it, but I just never touched it. WAIT! Oh, come on, it was so cool! Why is everyone calling you a ventriloquist in the comments? It's because I jokingly will say it because I either get- Because you know how like my mouth doesn't move much? It's because like when I talk, my upper lip doesn't move, right? Too much. It's more like my bottom lip that moves. So when- with certain angles, like you can't really see my bottom lip moving. Like here, like, it's harder to tell. Um, <laughs> so I either get comments saying like, Are you an AI? Are you a ventriloquist? Are you- are you even talking? Um, is this a voiceover? 
So I've decided I'm not gonna delete those comments anymore. I'm just gonna reply to them. I'm a vain quiz. That that's gonna be the bit, okay? Lamal, I'm sorry. What? What do you mean? Yeah. So anytime I see a comment like that, I'm just gonna be like, I'm a vain quiz. I'm a vain I can't say it. <laughs> She's just a PNG tuber TikTok. Frick. Yeah, honestly. Wait, who got auto modded? Somebody got auto modded. <laughs> Did somebody say a slur? Okay, let me actually look at my cue card now. So, when I was out doing errands the other day, I was getting off the bus. No, reset, reset! Okay. So the other day I was doing errands and I was on the bus, and this girl walks on the bus, and she's like, really cute, okay? And her outfit was like, banging. Because since a lot more people use public transit in my town, I feel like a lot of people will, like, use it instead of an Uber sometimes. So she was, like, decked out. She had a skirt. She had these, like, really cool lace socks. Really cute fit. And I wanted to, like, compliment her, but I was kind of scared. And she sat, like, two seats away from me, and I was, like, scared. Um, and, like, 50 minutes on the bus ride later, we both got off at the same stop. So as I'm, like, walking off the bus, I'm like, hey, your outfit is really cute. And she's like, oh, thank you. And then I kind of like speed walk ahead of her because it's like weird to like keep talking to somebody, right? And I notice that she's like using the same crosswalks I'm using. I turn the road to go down my residential area and she goes in the same like housing complex. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I really hope she doesn't think I'm following her. And then I literally turned to go towards our unit and she turned the same way and I was like, oh no. But thankfully she kept on walking. <laughs> She probably lives like a few units down from me, but it was still so awkward. <laughs> it was the worst. Talk to her? No. She didn't look like a like a teenager, but you know how like some adults look really young? It felt weird. It was during like the middle of the day, so I hope it wasn't like a somebody ditching. But dude, imagine, imagine we become like friends. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Wait, I thought that was the end. Okay, but I think it would be kind of weird to try and befriend somebody you saw on the bus. Like, how, how would you even start that conversation? Because one of my friends, they use public transit all the time to get to and from work, and they were telling me, they are like, Oh, there's this really cute girl on the bus, and I want to, like, ask her out. And I was like, do not do that. Imagine some bozo walks up to you on the bus and be like, Hey, I see you on my route every day to work. Do you want to go out? Like, how, how creepy is that? Like, genuinely. Because, like, if you're going on the bus, you kind of know their schedule, right? If you're going, because assuming that they ride the bus same time you do. You kind of know what time they'll be at the bus stop. It's like, stalker shit. So do not ask the cute girl out on the bus. Don't do it. How'd you meet again? Oh yeah, on the public bus. Yeah. Is that worse than saying, oh, we met on Tinder? But how do you even ask people out? You befriend them, and then you cross your fingers that they don't see you platonically. Okay, let's practice with 200. I'm too impatient for the new characters to come out. Didn't Nintendo say that all the waves would be complete by the end of 2023? Because there's only like two or three more waves left, right? Or two more, because there's only four tracks left. Or not four tracks, four pre's. I don't know. Oh my god, this is insane! <laughs> I love 200 CC. I will 
never touch the game again if that's the case. Really? Why are you getting so mad? It's already March. So if that means there's two more waves, that means one will probably come out in summer. And then one in maybe fall. Maybe winter. That's not that bad. At least we got more content. Serious question? What? Ask away. I can't see a thing! If you don't ask your question, I'm gonna be really mad. <laughs> like, genuinely. Oh my god, I can't. How can you tell someone is queer before asking them out? Because I know for me it's mad weird straight up asking. Okay. You you gotta throw out feelers. Um you kind of have to see. Okay, I'm a political lady, right? I like talking to people about politics and policies. I think it's really interesting. So if it's somebody that you're like casually like friendly with. Maybe just throw in, well, what do you think about trans rights? Or, what do you think about marriage equality? Like, depending on how they answer. Ew, no. How else are you gonna ask? That's so cringe. Okay. Okay, story time. I'm not 50. <laughs> story time. So before pursuing my first partner, they were a guy, right? So... Even if I was gonna pursue- for, for context, I am bisexual, everybody. Claps and chat for me. Um, for context, I always told myself I'm not going to date anyone if I'm gonna be in a heteronormative relationship who is bigoted, right? I need to feel out to see if they're, like, secretly hateful or something, right? So I remember talking to him a little bit beforehand, because that was back in 2018. So there was, like, no topical issues going on at the time. But I kind of, like, I told him about how I had a crush on my best friend previously. And then he was kind of cool with it. And then he was telling me about, like, other queer friends he had. I was like, okay, this person is not a bigot. And then they asked me out. <laughs> Freak! Okay. But anyway. So I know that might be, like... Maybe not be the best approach, but you kind of got to see how they feel about it. I don't know. Because I feel like there are some, like, physical tales, you know? Like, how they dress, maybe how they conduct themselves around you. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, they could just be artsy. Okay, but do they know you're queer? Oh my god, hi, Ethan. Can we get some yo's? Okay, so if they know... <laughs> Ask if they listen to Girl in Red. I've never listened to it. Am I a fake gay? <laughs> Am I a fraud? I mean, I- I'm- I'm- I don't know anything. I've never tried to pursue a woman, okay? I'm clueless. Oh my god, this is way too fast. Yes, you are a fraud. Should- should I remove the LGBTQIA tag? So, over the past year and a half that I've been streaming, I feel like I always have a rotation of, like, catchphrases. I think my current ones are, like, I've been saying, oh, no, a lot, and holy. 
I'm trying to think of what other ones I've used. But it's kind of like... How can I equate it to? It's kind of like, you know, in some cartoons there's like a side character who has like their one catchphrase they say. That's kind of what I view my catchphrases. I don't know if it's like good for branding just to use the catchphrases all the time, but I think it's hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> Megan put the S in LGBTQIA? What? There's no S in there. Unless S stands for... I can only think of bad words that start with S. <laughs> S for straight? No, I'm not straight. You know how some people use the argument? They're like, how do you know if you're gay if you've never been with someone of the same gender? And then it's also like, how can you say you're straight if you've never, like, kissed a woman? You, you would use that to, like, the virgins, you know? And then they gasp, and then they get, like, insecure, and it's funny. <clears throat> you just know. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it takes some people longer to, like, come to terms with it, or kind of know. It's a journey, so don't feel bad if you don't know right away. S is for subscribing to PSN underscore 17? Exactly! What, why is Ethan shilling subs? That's Titan's job. <laughs> but thank you. Peace and out here discriminating? No, I'm not. Twitch staff, they're joking. I would never. Oh my god, this is way too fast. I don't like this track in 200. This is really difficult. Oh my god! Easy, back in first. Dude, getting the ink on these tracks is not good because I don't have these memorized yet. Hated the movie Monster House. It was genuinely scary. I also didn't like Coraline. Okay, have you guys seen the new Pinocchio? Have you guys seen the Pinocchio movie that was released through Netflix? I watched it the other night, finally, and I cried. Oh my god! It's the Guillermo one. I forgot the director's name. It was interesting, but it was sad. I cried. Because it was talking about death. It was artsy, though. I fell off. I tied for first. Okay, it's time for online, everybody. Is it good? Yeah, it is good. It's it's really an interesting perspective because it gives a underlying critique about globalization, um, identity, um, like politics too. Oh my god, a delivery truck just slammed over a speed bump. Oh my god, hi Kim, you're late! We were talking shit earlier. But hi Kim, can we get some yo's? 
Okay, let's start online. I'm gonna take so many L's. Okay, I've been playing too much Birdo. <laughs> so I was editing a VOD this morning, and it's a clip of... of <laughs> me joking about Bowser Jr. like spanking his ass. <laughs> um, clip will be posted in summertime, probably. Because my goal is to try and get, um, like, enough clips made through June. That way you don't have to worry about editing. That way I can focus on coursework for a while. Yeah, Kim, we might have to fire you. No joke. Wait, am I queued up already? Oh, I'm spectating, okay. We can chill. Oh, stop! I'm not trying to bang Link, okay? I'm not gonna do anything. Um, Meg phone stream, everybody. Everybody, keep an eye on Mac as well, okay? Not just me. Oh, why do we lose our POV? This is unfortunate. Okay. I feel like all the people saying like, ooh, don't itemize Link, are all the people who wanted to like bang Simba when they were five, okay? So I think everybody should shut the freak up. Dude, actually losers POV. <laughs> I wish it would show like the mini map for these spectator matches. Who <laughs> wanted to what? No, it's like the online meme, how everybody was like, how Simba was everybody's like sexual awakening. We talked about this before, like a year ago. <laughs> Wasn't Simba? Yeah, because everybody was saying when they were five, they watched Lion King and they were like, oh my god. It w I was not one of those people. Let me clarify, I was not one of those people. Simba was what? I'm not saying it. I'm just relaying stories. Hi, Jill. Can we get some yo's? Guys, don't don't slander me. Slander is illegal. And I will sue you for the $50 that I have in my name. <laughs> Dude, he has a bullet and he's just now using it. This computer's stupid. <laughs> I got daddy issues, but not that bad. Same. I have both mom and dad issues. I just have all the issues. Oh my, thank god it's over. <clears throat> anyway, it's time to race, everybody. If I get one first place in online, I will gift chat a sub. You know the rules. DK Jungle, my favorite track. Man, look at all these topics I have. I've done two. Guys, AMA, ask me anything. Man, so many of y'all getting... <laughs> Autumn button. Somebody put an eggplant emoji in the chat room. Guys, 13 plus chat. <laughs> Why is there another automated message? <laughs> Guys. Oh wait, I denied it, okay. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. 
Oh, I hate this track. You know what else I hate? <laughs> Not yet, we got two minutes. <clears throat> Wait, I might actually have a chance! Who sent the eggplant emoji? Only me and mods will know. Wink. Okay, I'm gonna actually try hard. It's like the day we're all talking about cream pies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's... You know, I trust the auto mod with my life after that stream. Oh! God, I hate everything. Dude, actually throwing. Contrary to popular belief, I don't lose games on purpose. I've only intentionally lost one time. And it was during a challenge stream to where the stakes were. If I fail a challenge, I will give to sub. And I literally have been playing for an hour and I didn't fail. And I threw on purpose that way Chat could get one sub. But whenever I'm playing normally, for a normal ass stream, I literally try my best. I'm not playing bad, I promise. Wait, third place? Oh my god, wait. Just throw the red shell! Throw it! You're in second place! I did buy some pie crust the other day because I want to try and make a quiche. But then I realized I don't have a round pan. When I think of, like, a cream-filled pie, <laughs> I think of Gilligan's Island. Because, has anybody watched it? Like, you know, Marianne, she would make coconut pies. But then it would bring up the dilemmas, like, how did she make cream on a deserted island? That makes no sense. Wait, fourth place, hold. No! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Coconut is nasty, it's not that bad. You know what is nasty? Haven't you watched ads? Because everybody, we're gonna stop talking about pies, okay? And watch some ads. We are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, and a big or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we will keep on playing. And stay tuned because I will be doing a blind crumble hashtag not sponsored tasting later. Wait, did it run the ad? Oh, it didn't show. Oh, it did. Okay, I, I didn't run the ad. Okay, so my sister, um, dude, two of you guys got automated. <laughs> guys are so stupid. <sighs> Anemia? Wait. Is that a... Huh. Does that really affect, like, your taste buds? So my sister, she tried one of the crumble cookies last night because she was like begging me to try one. And I was like, okay, you can. Because I usually will get her like a chocolate chip or a sugar one because those are basic. Of course, she'll like them. But when she was looking at their um, options and she was like, oh, I want to try the lemon one. And I know she doesn't like lemon. And I was like, okay, I'll buy you a lemon cookie. But I know you're not going to like it. And she's like, well, I want to try it anyway. I get home, she tries it, and my sister, okay, she's a little bit quirky. Whenever she has a new food, she will always smell it, and she took a whiff of the lemon cookies, and she's like, these smell like dirty socks, and I was like, how did you come to that conclusion? I was like, are you sick? 
So I had her, like, smell another cookie. She's like, no, that one smells normal. But she's like, this one smells like dirty socks. And I was like, oh, no. Because my sister, she's been known to ruin foods for me. Lemon doesn't belong in desserts. What? That's a crazy take. Lemon is pretty good. If you like tarts, then you'll like lemon. I mean, lemon is not my favorite fruit to have in a dessert, but it's still good. Like a lemon curd, ooh. Like imagine having pancakes with like a lemon curd topping. That sounds delicious. Lemon belongs in lemonade. Well, that's too basic. That's what like little four-year-olds make to beg people for money. We're talking about high-class desserts. Ew. Why are you guys saying ew with your little baby palettes? Okay, I threw. Wait, I literally was in third place. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention at all. I was just playing the game. Yeah, I agree. The Chick-fil-A, like, lemon... Was the smoothies or, like, the icy things are really good. But I've decided I'm never gonna eat from Chick-fil-A ever again because they are bad. And way too expensive, honestly. I'd rather eat a salad than a lemon cookie? What? That is like the most adult thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> sorry. So, adults make up jokes to beg people for money no different, like engineers. I thought you were talking about me. And I was like, valid. I'm an 11. I think I just got too heated after the bad lemon take. I'd rather eat the pizza we made than lemon cookies. What is wrong with you guys? Do we have any lemon defenders? You guys are all just little babies. More for me, I guess. I like lemon cookies? Of course. Hi, Lemon! Did we get some Yo's Rare Appearance? Lemon, a celebrity in the chat room. I feel like you guys will shit on me and then shit on Kim. <laughs> yeah, Kim got laid off. <laughs> Wait, this is mirror mode. Frick. <laughs> okay, Kim, if it ever gets too much, just tell me and I'll tell those little shitheads to stop. <laughs> Sorry to hear you got laid off. Dude, Ethan backtracking right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't! Guys, yeah, should I hire Kim to be an engineer? Honestly, it's so funny. <laughs> I mean, true. I think it's fun to, like, goof and gaff a little bit. Okay, because honestly, honestly, I feel like anybody who is, like, a Twitch watcher is a loser. Myself included. I think being a streamer or wanting to be a streamer is even more like loser behavior. I'm not a loser? That's what you think. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Guys, of course, you guys are all cool and special. Oh my god, what am I- I'm throwing. The, the mirror mode is actually throwing me off. That was a waste of my time. Can't nail that turn. Oh, 
Thank you, Kim. Off topic, I love chat. This makes my day pass so fast, so thank you for making this space. Of course! Not gonna lie, I like chatting with everybody too. Even the- sorry. Even if it makes me lose the game, that's why I'm in 12. That's literally why I'm losing, okay? No slandering. But it's so fun to like joke and banter with everybody. Like, you guys will be wholesome when you need to, but I love the banter. It's so much fun. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's embarrassing! Oh no! Mods, don't clip that one. It doesn't matter if it's wholesome, just don't clip it. Whoever's editing this VOD later, Megan, in what, six months? Just don't- don't put that in. Put- put a different gameplay over it, please. <clears throat> Guys, can we stop talking about vulvas, please? And we all know something about someone? Yeah, like... I feel like the more active you are, and like sharing like little bits and pieces of your personality, then it's kind of like- you, you kind of like recognize each other, you know? If y'all clip it, the edit me out of the chat. You're the one who said vulva. I'm gonna make that a block turn. <laughs> you driving into a pillar with a star for a good 20 seconds was more embarrassing. No, it was like 10 seconds, not 20. Go back to the first grade. I <laughs> act. No, you, you spelled it wrong. I'm not dumb. I'm not D U M. You know what is dumb? <laughs> I got automated. Don't self-report if you got automated. Then everybody else knows. The only people who knows when you get automated is me and the mods. And Twitch. Wait, I'm in third? Self-reporting is fun though, it is. I will self-report for a bit sometimes because I think it's hilarious. Or like my bit where I go like, oh, should I leak? That's another catchphrase I do all the time. <laughs> um, chatters, can somebody do exclamation pronouns in chat? Um, I told chat about two-ish weeks ago that I want to try to not use my real name anymore. So if you don't know Ethan, it's fine. But refer to me as Peace or Peace In for now. My- <laughs> I threw a red shell. And then it hit a banana, and then Yoshi still cheered. Yeah, it's okay, you didn't know. I mean, like, if you don't watch every stream, then you don't know all the lore, so it's fine. I'm not gonna get mad. Because it's not that I don't want my name to be public anymore, I just wanna... I just wanna have a degree of, like, separation to some extent. Dude, what happened? Not another one! Establish a brand, yeah. Looking back, I would have not used my first name at all if I could have. But the problem was, even with like my personal social media, I used my uh, piece in 17 and then my real name, so it's it'll still be public to some extent, but I do want to minimize it. Dude, first place is so far ahead. Wait, is Mac leaving? Imagine Mac never comes back. Oh, Ethan is- Oh, bye, Ethan! <laughs> you didn't say bye. Bye, Ethan. And if you're not leaving and we just can't understand, then oopsie. Dude, I fell off. I, I could have gotten second or third. Imagine just one day I just disappear from chat forever. I would be so sad. Because Mac is like... I'm not going to say my favorite chatter. But Mac is like solid top three. As with everybody else is watching, you're all top three chatters, okay? You're all top three.
making me blush. <laughs> okay, the new Mac, if you're watching on desktop, is the PSI2 smile emote bigger than the PSI2 evil smile emote? Why are they different sizes? Does it look like that for you? <laughs> oh, now they're the same size. What? They look the same? Oh, well, for me, I, cause like 7TV updated over the weekend and it looks like ass. You know what else looks like ass? What? I don't know where that was going. You, you enabled connect contacts on TikToks and you saw your boss's account. That's so awkward. Even though I don't connect my contacts to my TikTok, it'll still suggest accounts that are in my contacts, which I think is concerning. Um, because all I can think about is... Not that I have anything bad on my social media, but I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Oh, another thing that is super surprising to me is when I was little, like, in junior high and high school, like, I was super introverted, super quiet. Like, I enjoyed YouTubers and stuff, but I never had the desire to make content. So I genuinely think it's super surprising that I'm trying to stream and, like, possibly make YouTube content. Like, if you asked all, like, my high school class, I would be the least expected person to try to become a creator. But I think that's the glory of like the rise of TikTok and other social media is that anybody can be famous online. It's interesting. And I don't necessarily want to pop off and be famous and be cool because being able to monetize would be epic. But it's just fun to make things. And I think with stream content especially, you get to interact with people live and you get to fe genuinely feel like connected to people. And I think it's a really fun thing to do. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was doing like so... Not good, but I was doing decent. Actually throwing... Oh my god. Should I... Okay. Should I change my bike build? Inside drift bikes bad? I just think they're fun to handle. I know they're not the most efficient, but I just think they're fun. I like being able to look parallel to the ground sometimes. Wait, eighth place? Hold. Oh my god, hi Chip. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I'm gonna try the side path. Is this any good? Not really. Guys, I fell off. I pro I will get one first place today. Wait, we should do predictions. I forgot. I totally blanked. I'm sorry, gamblers. I'm sorry. Everybody go gamble. Do you think I will get first by 12.30? So within 11 minutes. Yeah, I made- Ooh, I made burgers last night. They were really good. Dude, you like pepperoni pizza? That's like the most basic thing ever. <laughs> That's like what you get during the pizza party in first grade. When your class gathers the most- I was gonna say soda cans, but it's cans of food. No, I don't want- pepperoni's too greasy. If you can get salami, I think salami and pizza is way better. Dude, six key in doubt? I'm gonna get first place right now. <clears throat> Watch me. Okay, I'm gonna try hard.
<laughs> Please! Wait, hold! I'm actually doing good? Feeling evil? I'm in first. I'm in first. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, bad items. I'm, I'm just trying to get a double item box. I know I should have. That was insane! Oh no, oh no, no, no. See, I timed, I slowed down, that way the banana could cancel out the red shell, and I hopped over the, sh over the banana. That was crazy. Is nobody gonna rebel over that insane trick I did? Scripted for real? <laughs> no, I will not be getting Subway. If you guys want to order me Subway, I want... A million gifted subs. I'm in 11th place. What happened? Can somebody please clip that banana trick thing I did though? That was actually good. I was reveling in it, that's why I lost. You hit the sub goal already today? I'm not- it's not in the budget to order Subway right now. And ordering Subway through delivery is a scam. I'd rather use a coupon. What's the worst thing you can order a Subway? Okay. I used to work at a Subway, right? The worst thing to order. Oven roasted chicken. It's frozen chicken and the way they do prep is they over pull and then they don't sell enough. So usually they'll serve expired product. I've seen that across multiple restaurants. That's why it tastes kind of funky. Or the tuna, similar problem to where you can only prep so much tuna at once. And because it's not as popular as an item at most stores, um, it... Okay, the shelf life for most proteins at Subway is three days. Meaning the day once you open the package, it's good for three days. So, oh, when I say pull, it's like pulling from the freezer. So it's frozen, then you let it thaw. Um... So if you take too much, if you pull too much, then you're gonna have too many thawed, and it's only good for three days once it's thawed for most proteins. Um, the teriyaki chicken is alright. I don't like the Subway teriyaki sauce. It's not good. It's a bit too sweet. I will always say scripted after you do something good and then lose. I did not throw on purpose. It was- I was genuinely- I, Okay, what happened was- because, like, when I stream, right, my TV's here, my camera's here, and then my laptop is here below me. So that's why you'll see me, like, glance down. And sometimes, if there's, like, too many messages of chat on my screen, I try to, like, skim through quickly to find, like, a a good one to read. And sometimes when I'm skimming, I take too long of, like, not looking at my TV screen that I mess up, and that's what happened. Oh my god, is this 200? Yeah, so... I'm only gonna get Subway if I can order in person. That way I can make sure the person is like washing their hands. Because if they don't wash their hands, then your whole order is, um, fricked. It's gonna be bad. Oh my god, I'm in second place? Holy. Guys, if I get first, I will give Chad a sub. No jokes, no cap. On a stack. I mean, I'm sure if like... Oh, a boombox? Interesting. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you call them out if they didn't wash their hands? Yes, I don't care. I don't give a shit. I would say, hey, do you have a manager available? And they'd be like, oh, they didn't wash their hands. I don't care if they get rid of. Because if you guys think about it, when people don't wash their hands, it's a food safety concern. You know the story of like somebody scratching their ass and then not washing their hands before serving food? It's disgusting. That's how disease spreads, that's how potentially hepatitis spreads, which can literally kill you, depending on what version of it. So if I don't see somebody wash their hands, I will snitch. I don't care. There's been a few times where, like, I, don't, I won't ask for a manager. Like, I'll just ask them, hey, can you wash their hands? And then they get all pissy with me. And it's like, it's just their, it's your job. Part of your job is to make sure you're serving food properly. You don't want to get people sick. Oh my god, hi, Kimari. Sorry for my rent. 
I'm not a Karen. I'm not a Karen, everybody. I just care about my safety. Because, guys, if I get sick, then I can't stream, and then you guys are sad. Right? You guys would be sad if I didn't stream, right? I didn't realize you were a manager type. I literally was a manager. I was a regional manager, so I know what to look for. Um, it was... Wait, why did we... So randomly, my sister was like, oh, I want to get dim sum. And I was like, okay. And we were gonna go to, like, a local place. Because the place that we would usually go to, like, a few years ago, was, like, a few towns away, but it's too far away because it's, like, an hour drive. Because we moved a bit further away from it. So we're like, oh, there's a dim sum place in our town. And we drove past it. And in Washington, they will have signs on the doors that are different colors. So it'll say great in green if they pass all safety measures. It'll say okay in orange if they failed a few measures. And then... Oh, what does it say? It says something else in gray if they failed a lot of things. And if there's like a gray indicator, that means they had... Either, um, like, rodents, pests, improper management and, or handling of food. So, like, going from raw to, um, going from raw to, like, fresh vegetables, that type of thing. Um, you know that gray food slaps? Okay. I don't want to get sick, okay? So, anyway, so we were driving into the parking lot and I saw the sign. I was like, oh, we are not eating here. We are not eating here. Because if, if you see a gray sign, that means they failed a food safety inspection from the health department for a year in a row. A year. It, it only takes one positive visit to make your rating go from gray to orange. Um, so that means they failed it for a year. It's horrible. Peace and goes into the kitchen and watches them make it. No, that's not what I do. Rodents <laughs> just means it's pet friendly. <laughs> okay, lemon is my favorite chatter. <laughs> lemon is my favorite. Dude, we always have bangers, man. <laughs> we need more lemons in the chat room, everybody. I'm gonna go to the left, because I'm a socialist. Oh yeah, there's been so many times with, um... Wait, should I leave? <laughs> okay, so I've worked at several food service locations for one company, right? And... Because I worked at a pizza place and then a sandwich place that is very popular. And there was a reoccurring issue with one of the soda machines to where... Because depending on what type of soda fountain machine you get, it will have like the ice maker above. Like near the top of the machine. And if you don't buy a self-cleaning machine, then you get mold in the ice. So... At this specific location, they didn't have, like, a filter, or not a filter, they didn't have, like, a self-cleaning ice machine. So, like, every three months, every three to four months, there would be, like, literal clumps of mold, like, falling out from the ice dispenser into people's cups and stuff. So we would have customers come in and be like, oh yeah, there's, like, all this black shit in my soda pop. And I just don't understand why. Any franchisee, any business owner, why not buy the best equipment you can? Yes, it may cost like maybe a couple grand more, but it's gonna save you costs on maintenance. It's gonna ensure a better product. I just genuinely don't understand. Cause like anytime a customer would be like, oh, there's mold. We'd be like, okay. And then we have to call maintenance to come clean it out. And they would have to literally scoop out like all the gunk and mold and ice in the machine. Disgusting. Um, did it get first by 12.30? No, I did not. <laughs> That's nasty. I know. I know. Uh, also, thank you, Chip. W the one person reassuring me for my anxieties concerning food safety. Good chatting. It's, it's so frustrating 
I think also being on the side of like, um, like having manager, manager, managerial duties. Is that how I see it? And then also like just being a regular crew member. It's very frustrating when either management or like the actual owners don't give a shit with certain things. Um, I'm not gonna say where I worked at the pizza place because, you know, they used to be with the, um, NFL, so I don't think I can shit talk them. Honestly, fast food place equipments are always nasty. I agree. Um... No, I did not walk at Papa John's. Because Papa John's is racist. I think a big reason why a lot of fast food equipment is kind of like gnarly and nasty is because a lot of the people working aren't necessarily trained to deep clean or don't have the time to clean. Because fast food is meant to be a fast-paced environment. You're not necessarily incentivized to make sure equipment is cleaned or properly handled. I can guarantee you, if you work at a Chick-fil-A or a McDonald's or any place that has like a tea brewer, that that doesn't get cleaned properly every night. And I feel like there's also so much like underlying pressure from your management to like get out of your workplace quickly, like for openers and closers. So you don't really have the time to deep clean. Like I know I tried my best when I was working to clean when I'm able to. When I first got my job at my pizza place, I was training on day one, right? And I had like... I had all my training done that day and we had like 20 minutes of downtime and like my manager who was training me was literally just on her phone and I was like, oh, where do you guys have like cleaning equipment and rags? She's like, oh, just over there. And then I started deep cleaning like the warmer and it was disgusting. There was like a whole bunch of like green mold in like the water tray and like obviously that's not touching the food directly, but it's still like gross. So at any time I had the opportunity, I would make sure to deep clean if I could. Because it's just nicer to work in a cleaner environment, and I can only think of, like, like possibly dust or mold getting into your food. Like, just through, like, the air and shit. I think the worst thing we had was the grease trap. Oh my god. That person has a lightning bolt. Nice. <laughs> Dude, am I ever gonna get first? You know what? Someone can get first in. Somebody can be our first follower of the day because guys, we're another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turned on. Can we hit our follow goal today? Yeah, when I was trained for Subway, I was poorly trained. I was very poorly trained. And should I leak? <laughs> um Cause I feel like with um a lot of like the corporate workplaces, they'll have like a computer training where you just learn the basics like on the computer. And it was required for like subway training, but my franchisee never had any of us do it. Because that would be like an extra 15 hours paid training that they didn't want to pay for so they just didn't do it and anytime our auditors came in they're like oh did you guys do the computer training we're like oh no we didn't and they're like oh just make sure you get it the next time but then we never did it so it's stupid well a lot of stuff is done improperly but ultimately uh it's not your fault if you're not trained properly it's your management's fault it's your owner's fault That's why, like, I don't think I could ever run, like, a franchisee or chain operation. If I'm gonna have a business, I wanna be there every day. I wanna make sure things are up to par, things are up to my level of quality. That's why, like, with, um... Because I'm launching a website to start selling my paintings next month, right? Like, I wanna make sure I'm doing everything right that I'm able to do. That way, if I ever get to a point where I do need to hire somebody, then everything is like done properly. When you get a piece in a restaurant, like it'll be good. Everything will be clean. All the food will be goodly made. 
good we made. <laughs> what would you sell at a piece in a restaurant? Hmm. Okay, I'm a sucker for like diner food, and I feel like diner food is really inexpensive and easier to make. Um, I've always liked the idea of having like a drink shop or a boba shop. I genuinely think it'd be really fun. The only good merit to that is that blenders are really loud and I get triggered by loud noises. There's no veggies allowed? True, true. I hate vegetables. Dude, how funny would it be if I opened like a salad shop? Wait, if I were to work in my own restaurant, should I be a server or a cook? Okay, if I were a server, would you guys tip me well? I would give amazing customer service, though. Wait, what if they had, like, a streamer restaurant? Where, like, all your favorite streamers became servers? And for tipping, you could give them subs. <laughs> Do people actually go to salad shops? We don't have any in our area, and I don't... I think it would do well here, because there's a lot of, like... Not bougie places, but a lot of like weird, obscure restaurants here. I would hate you would hate a streamer restaurant. It'd be funny. It'd be a good bit. Oh, I went for the double. Streamers are narcissists, though. That that is true. Am I a narcissist? Type one. <laughs> a mac and cheese restaurant. That sounds so fun. I would eat there every day. <laughs> you would make the streamers wear maid outfits? No, I wouldn't. No. I would not do such a thing. Mods, run the Animal Crossing maid clip, please. <laughs> if you had your own restaurant, I'd imagine you have TVs at each table showing a different stream clip. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Like, instead of playing the football game, it would just be my stream clips. <laughs> oh my god. I'm having so much fun. I feel bad whenever I don't stream for a few days, but whenever I come back, it's always a banger. My chair is so creaky and I hate it. Maybe it's got a few screws loose, like me. like peace would charge a meet and greet fee when you order food. No, I only charge for signatures. <laughs> I think some of the biggest scams is celebrities who do meet and greets at conventions. Because when we went to um, Rose City Comic Con in Oregon a few months ago, my sister went to see- my sister and my friend went to go see a celebrity, right? And they paid for photos, and then pictures, and then a selfie. I think a selfie cost $40. And then a regular picture costs like 60 And then even to get in line for the meeting greet, it cost $80. I can't imagine paying that much. Even if it was my favorite celebrity of all time, Jensen Ackles, I love him. Very socially. I would never pay that much. W okay, would you guys pay $100 to see me? Your sister is a big spender? Well, she has a good job. No, this, they charged for a selfie at that event. Oh, I went the wrong way. Who was the celebrity? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> I mean, they were an A-list celebrity. I forgot their name. I literally can't. <laughs> no respect for them. But like, some celebrities you could tell were like lower tier because their meet and greet only cost 
versus eight LRs for this one guy. I am taking so many L's. I should I reset? I think I want to get into a different lobby. I think everybody's too cracked. You know, I don't need to pay for meet and greet. I can just, you know, hug the picture with the celebrity that's my screensaver every morning, right? Gee, was that joke funny? <laughs> was that joke good? I was thinking about that joke for the whole race. I feel like having to pay them is crazy. Um, we live in America and everything is capitalist. So if they're gonna, they'll charge you for anything. I'm fair. I'm I'm DQing. I'm DQing. I'm DQing. Dude, there's a guy with twenty six thousand in here. I'm DQing. This is unfair. <laughs> I'll pay one Taco Bell burrito to meet you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there more. I already have cookies today. I don't need more food. Yeah. You're vegetarian. I don't think I could ever go vegetarian. I don't think I could. You know, I. I don't like the texture of vegetables. Oh, what I have been doing though, is I'll mix in kale to different things. Like I made mac and cheese last night and then I mixed in kale instead of lettuce. I'm using kale for like fillers. Oh, you don't eat red meat? Okay, well that's not as bad. I prefer red meat over everything though. Fish is still the best. I think fish is the best. Has a good amount of vitamins. Supposedly it helps with your neurological health. Not your mental health, just like your actual brain health. Ooh, Christmas. Naruto? Do you like sushi? I love sushi. Sushi is one of my favorites. I like it because it's easy to eat. I love fish. I used to not like the idea of raw fish. But I don't mind it now. I kind of like the texture of raw fish. I think my favorite type has got to be the rolls that are filled with like um, the shrimp katsu. Or the shrimp tempura, not <laughs> I love I like the rolls that are filled with the shrimp tempura. There's this one roll that I always get. It has imitation crab, a spicy sauce, bacon, and then it's fried. And it's so good. It's from it's from like a local place from my hometown, but I can still get it delivered because it's within like our delivery range. And it's so good. Sushi I think is way too expensive though. Like, them charging, like, $15 for a roll is way too much. Because just, like, the cost of goods for sushi is really low. Like, the most expensive item is probably going- or er, the most expensive ingredient is probably the fish, but even then, they probably get discounted rates. The thing you're paying for for sushi is the person making it, because you have to be proficient when making it, because it's very difficult to make a decent, like, roll. Sushi is more like a snack, yeah. If I'm gonna have sushi, no joke, I can eat like two or three rolls if I'm really trying.
I fell off. Did I get first by 12.45? No, I didn't. Sad. Will I ever win? Have I peaked? Okay, new prediction. Do you think I will get first by 1 p.m.? <laughs> no, you haven't? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your me so short? Because I'm 5'2 IRL and it's funny. It, it is to scale. Because <laughs> when we were little, on oh, Megphone's here, my sister and I would make my me's like super short and super fat. <laughs> it's so funny. Why does height matter for people? I don't know. Oh, I didn't pick one. Oopsie. You know, I'm 5'2", so literally everybody is tall in comparison to me. But I know I would prefer to have, like, a taller partner. I don't want somebody who's like 6'2", because that's way too tall. I don't want to be like hugging there below the ribcage. But I do like the idea of like a super tall GF. Yeah, I think for someone my height, I think 5'10 is like perfect. But I don't care otherwise. I think it would be weird if some of them were like shorter than me. Because I I'm really short. <laughs> Wait, I'm in second? Wait, okay, I'm charting, I'm charting. I'm gonna get first. Oh my god! Did I would have nailed that? Okay, I'm not gonna try it anymore. <laughs> no way you're five one. No way. <laughs> like 410. I think 410 is where they cut people off. No, I can see the dilemma is my dad is really short and then my mom isn't like super tall but she's tall for like a woman. Like she's like 510 but then my dad is like 5'2 and both my sister and I we got the short jeans unfortunately. Not that I want to be tall. I kind of like being short because I... Cause like when you're short you're just like automatically cute. No matter how tall somebody is, when they look down they're just gonna think you're cute. Oh no! Oh no, I had it! Oh, I had it! Just fuck everybody! Wait, fourth? Cool? Oh, I hate this bath. I literally never go that way. I hate that bath. Yeah, you're five nine, one inch below perfection. Try again, kill. <laughs> oh no, dude, I could have had. Wait, fourth isn't bad. Not bad. Oh, who got automated? <laughs> I'll allow that one. <laughs> yeah, my grandma's short too. 
Which is surprising because like everybody on my mom's side of the family is super short, but my mom is like 5'10. Oh no, I don't want to leave. Wait, yeah, I do. Wait, I already DQ'd. Oopsie. <laughs> I forgot I DQ'd already. That was. Why did I leave? I was in fourth place. That was due, um... Yeah, it is a problem that people shrink as you get older. I'm gonna be like 3'7". Why did I DQ? I had 4th. Now I'm starting at the bottom. You're gonna be wearing children's shoes at that rate? No, I'm not. My feet aren't that small. I'm not gonna shame my shoe size. I'm not gonna leak. It is frustrating buying shoes sometimes for me because I will sometimes range between three different sizes and then also I have wider feet and it's so hard to find a shoe that fits properly. What kind of shoes do you wear? Uh, <laughs> I actually, the only share shoes that I wear now because I, I dress for comfort now whenever I go out. I don't care if the shoes match, you know, I'm not trying to, not trying to bang the people on the bus. Um, I have Vessi, because they're nice memory foam. They're also waterproof. The only reason I found the brand is through, like, a YouTube-sponsored ad. Like, somebody had, like, a sponsor for Vessi, but they're actually pretty good. I've had them... I usually buy a new pair every year, because they stay waterproof the whole time, but usually the, the bottoms scuff a little bit. Rocks are the best for wide feet, but I don't like when there's like gaps in the shoe. It really bothers me. I'm in last place. <laughs> that guy's name is funny. <laughs> The emoji me is a, their name is funny. <laughs> I thought be sh they'd be shoes with velcros and straps. No, velcro shoes are nice. And you know what? I'm disabled, so it might actually be helpful because it doesn't feel good to bend down sometimes. But I like the like I I like the look of like slip on shoes and then laces. But the ones that I have now are just slip ons. Cause I don't like when like the back of the shoe like rubs against your ankle. It's the worst. You know what else is the worst? <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Okay, Chatters. It is March 24th. My birthday is in about a month. It's April 24th. I'm gonna do a long stream, right? What should we do for the birthday stream? Because I have... I have one bit that'll take two hours. And then another bit that'll take another hour. So what should we do for the birthday stream? I don't want to say what they are. Because I want them to be surprises. But what do you guys want to see for the birthday 12 hour stream? Ah! 
You have an update to the crush? The spill. Mario Party? Okay. Oh, wait. We have to do a, a Mario Kart event. We can sing Happy Birthday. You know how they have the Twitch guest star? What if we brought people on stream just to sing for me? <laughs> That'd be so bad. I'm throwing. This is the best version of this map. I'm not doing that, but Mac, you know, you can sing, right? Imagine how cool it would be to serenade your favorite streamer. No, but seriously, what should we do? Because I, I have like eight hours to fill. Maybe animal- oh yeah, we have to play Animal Crossing because there's like the birthday cutscene. Oh my god, they were playing footsies? That's so high. That's so junior high. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Playing footsies? A birthday cake? Wait. Decorating my own birthday cake. That could be- that could be good. I wonder how I do that because would I have to do it upstairs? Cause like I don't want to stream. It, it'd be hard for me to stream downstairs and go back upstairs. I could set up in the living room, but I don't want to do that. I would say um don't play footsies in class. That's cringe. Oh my god. Ooh, you can do the turning grocery store cake into a good cake. Write this down. That's actually good. Okay, remake. I like that a lot. Thank you, Act Kobobo actually giving good shit. Remake. G store cake. I like that. Wait, I need to scroll up and see what Crystal actually said, because I only skimmed. Yeah, they're playing footsies! They're- Okay, if you're an adult, adults in the chat room, footsies mean you're trying to smash, okay? When you're like on a date and they're like tapping your feet, and that's obviously they're, they're trying to smash. Okay? <laughs> Shut up, Crystal. Shut up. <laughs> These are the times I'm glad I wear headphones. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Can I just say, I've never played footsies with somebody. I never have. Like, okay, genuinely, I haven't. Because what if they scuff my J's? That's sad. Guys, I've, I've had a partner before. I'll play handies, but don't step on my shoes. Exactly. <laughs> Neither have I, though. Yeah, let's be sad together. That bit was for the visual watchers, not the audio listeners. Who was Mac playing handsies with? Your mom's, obviously. <laughs> okay, that was horrible.
Okay, if they're playing footsies with you, then they like you, okay? Because I don't think you accidentally, for five minutes, put your foot on another person's foot. Oh, there's a double item box there. I didn't know. I don't think that path is faster, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I hate wearing shoes. I think it's the worst. They're way too hot. If I could wear slippers all the time, I would. Even if it's blistering cold, I still wear flip flops. Okay, but if I'm gonna go like see a friend or somebody or a love interest, I'm not gonna wear slippers because you know they don't get feet for free. I think some of the most, like, annoying shit my sister will do, and she knows this annoys the fuck out of me, is she will use my shoes or my slippers. Like, if we both have to go out and do errands, she will purposely wear my slippers. Just so I can't wear my own slippers. Or she will, like, put my sneakers on. Just to, like, fuck with me. And it annoys me so much. Do y'all wear shoes inside? No. No. It's disgusting. Yeah, you should go barefoot. I don't like socks. It's way too hot. But I went to my friend's house this weekend, right? And they have cats. And they're a shoes on house. And uh, I, I couldn't do it. It was so bad. Wait, did I get first by 1pm? No. You know what else is really bad? Watching ads. Because everybody, we are... Another hour in the stream. Um, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and ad for your along, or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. You may get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. After the ad, we'll do a little bit more marker, and then we'll finally do the crumble food review. Outside clothes in bed, the worst, the worst. If you wear outside clothes in bed, you are horrible. Why is is there running an ad? Not okay, there's the ad. Why is it not running the fucking ads? I hate the Twitch chat after the update. Yeah. I don't like wearing my outside clothes like on our couch, on the bed. Because, to me, the house is a safe space. It's where... <laughs> it's like where you sleep. You, send, you spend so much time on your bed. So imagine if you were outside clothes in it. And then you, like, sat in dirt. And then there's dirt on your bed. Okay? I rate public transit. Which is disgusting. I'm not gonna wear the clothes that I wore on the bus on my bed. The moment I get home from doing errands, that's why I try to do like everything in one go. I usually will just wash up right away. And then change into like home clothes or pajamas. And I, like if I'm having a friend over, I will tell them like, you know, you can hang out on the couch. But if you want to like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait, oh no, oh no, <laughs> wait, let me... <laughs> I was gonna say, if you wanna sit on my bed, but no, friends do not sit on the bed. <laughs> oh no. Because, like, I don't have a couch in my room, so if we're gonna play games, you can sit on the bed. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I'm not- I'm not bringing people into my bed, everybody. My bed isn't big enough. I have, like, a full- I mean, it's weird. There's some people who will, like, have sleepovers and you'll share the bed. I think that is very weird. No, it's, it's a germ thing. It's a cleanly thing. I don't like out- Dude, this was 200cc, wasn't it? This has to be. 
Yeah, this is my thrifted shirt. I got it yesterday. I posted it on Twitter. I feel like it's normal to let your friends in the bed. Um, it's different if they're adults and like... Uh... Uh... <laughs> wait, wait. How do, how do I say this? <laughs> And, like, people you might be, like, attracted to. Not saying that I'm, like, trying to bang my friends, okay? Um. What? Cuddling? No, I would... Uh... <laughs> no, I would not cuddle with friends. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, to each of their own. There's, like, platonic... If I could, like... How do I say this? Because, like, I like... I'm a very, like, touchy person with my friends. Like, I like hugs. If we're sitting and we're touching, that's fine. I don't care. But I'm still, like, I don't like the idea of, like, cuddling with somebody. Because to me, cuddling is a very, like, intimate thing. Even if it's, like, a platonic friend, it's it's a very, like... It's very intimate. Yeah, I never slept with family either when I was little, too, so... Not me. Family, I won't cuddle and sleep with, but anybody else, I don't care. Everybody, sleep over at Max's house. I mean, but when you're sleeping, you're very vulnerable. Like, literally anything could happen. That's why I don't... I don't let anybody into my bed, okay? I'm on my incel arc still. We trust each other, though? Says you. What if Mac is actually a hate watcher? Haha, <laughs> I got two people. Yeah, I'll take the desk chair. I'm not squeezing into... Uh-uh. Or I'll just be a sleeping bag. Easy. It's so difficult to fall asleep on a chair. <laughs> I call Max mom's bed. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm throwing. Why am I playing so bad today? It's a Tuesday. It's a normal day. Oh, with the new wave update, did they really change, like, some of the assets for, like, the bikes and the bike parts? Because is my bike build actually bad? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm scared of too, Chip. Like... I don't think I have any, like, things I do when I sleep. The most I do is snore. I snore, okay? But it's, like, a very soft snore. But I've heard stories of, like, people who have, like, night terrors and, like, people who do get, like, violent or when they sleep. And it's, it's kind of sad. <laughs> Not the TA. <laughs> Okay, if I ever do get married, which will never happen, because I don't believe in marriage. Love is not real. No, it is real. I think I would still want, like, a separate bedroom from my partner. Because I think the idea of having your own separate spaces, and if you do sleep together, you can, like, Ooh, let's sleep in your room tonight, or let's sleep in my room tonight. I think that's a really, like, cute thing. Because I feel like whenever you get into, like, a- Oh my god, I'm in last. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, I feel like when you get into, like, a committed relationship where you're, like, living together, you kind of don't have a separate identity. So, I think, like, having a separate space or, like, a separate bed that you still can share at times. Because I don't want my room to be filled with, like, Star Wars figurines. And I don't want their room to be filled with my shit. Who's getting the master then? Oh, we use the master room for, uh... For streaming! For streaming! The master bedroom would be my streaming room. Um, TA means teacher's assistant. <laughs> Those 
not the dungeon. <laughs> it's not the dungeon. The dungeon is underground, you silly. It would not be the master bedroom. <laughs> oh, that's cute, Kim. Yeah, I would say, like, if you can afford it, get separate bedrooms. Because, like, okay, I don't think I could ever live in a one-bedroom apartment. Because since I have so many, like, hobbies, you know, streaming, painting, art, and all the jazz, there's not enough space to, like, store my things if I have a one-bedroom unit, if I ever were to, like, live alone. Like, I would always try to see a unit where I can have at least one extra bedroom. Because, like, streaming in my bedroom is fine. I still have, like, all my craft things in my room now, but it's a... I have the master bedroom in our unit now. I can't imagine having everything in, like, a regular bedroom. Yeah, where would you go if you get mad exactly? Because that's what something I was talking about with my friend a while ago. Because they were saying how a similar thing to where, similar opinion to me to where like they like the idea of having a separate bedroom for their partner. Because it's still important to have some space. Because I feel like if you're together all the time, or if you don't have some form of distance, it's gonna get toxic over time. Oh my god, I missed it. <laughs> the fire is so scared. My partner and I are gonna get bunk beds? That'd go crazy. Um, I think I'll do one more race. One more race. My sister and I shared a bedroom up until we were like 10. And we had bunk beds. And I insisted on having the top bunk even though I was heavier. Because, in my head, if the bunk bed collapsed, because so many of, like, the wooden planks that supported the mattress on the top bunk fell, or cracked, if the bed broke, then I would be on top, so I wouldn't get crushed to death. I like the idea of living alone, but then I feel like it's gonna be lonely. I would- if I were to live alone, I would need to have a pet. Because my friend that I hung out with this past weekend, they have two cats. Oh my god, they're so cute. And like, both of his cats were kind of, like, kind of antisocial. And they were telling me, they were like, If the cats don't like you, don't be sad. I was like, no, they're gonna like me. And the cats loved me. And I was so happy. Okay, let's see. Should I do- I'll do two more races. I'll do two more. You've never had your own room? Oh, that's sad. Okay, prediction. Two more races. Do you think I will get first within two races, everybody? And then after this, we'll do crumble. Oh, my honest food review. Who got automated? A filthy... How is filthy a modded word? Okay, I'm gonna get first. This is my map. This is my best map in the game. Yeah, I was blessed that I was able to convince my sister to let me have a master. Cause no way I could stream from one of the smaller bedrooms here. It would just have enough space for my bed, essentially. So thank god my roommate and my sister don't have hobbies. <laughs> Shit! Wait, I'm in six? Holy? Go 
off with a double! Oh. Okay, I'm try hiding, I'm try hiding. Dude, first is so far ahead. They have to be cheating. decide who got which room okay so since the first roommate was living here first they had they already had a bedroom decided and they just had a regular room and then it was between me and my sister to determine who got the master bedroom and I convinced my sister I was like hey favorite sister since I'm gonna be streaming and like working out of my room it's not gonna be just where I sleep I was like you know I think I deserve the master bedroom and with some begrudgingly and she begrudgingly agreed. Yeah, my sister did steal the desk, though. And I'm actually st Why'd you remind me of that? Look, I got third! Okay, Meg phone streamer. Not saying that I want chat to beat my sister, but I think you guys would like her. But she- Ooh, which one should I pick? I'm pretty good at Wildwoods. She- she never wants to be like a public figure or online at all, so you'll probably never meet her. But she's great. Nah, she's got- she's eating less ramen. She's eating less, which is good. But I feel bad sometimes because... You know, she fully provides for me in terms of, like, paying for groceries and paying for my share of rent. But I, I did promise her, once I'm able to either get a real job, or if streaming or YouTube is sustainable, then I will pay her back. I, I suck at this track. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. I did tell her if, cause she won't, she, okay. She's interesting. <laughs> cause she doesn't, she likes art. She particularly is really good with ceramics like if she generally tried I think she could be successful in the scene um but I told her I was like if I ever get to a point where I can work and provide for you I will let you like take a year off and make ceramics smash or pass Ling okay am I gonna get cancelled if I say yes I do like guys who have piercings, okay? I think a, a guy with ear piercings is hot as frick. Oh my god, I'm in second! He doesn't have to talk! <laughs> what? Do you have a dungeon? Huh? Mods, keep an eye on Max. <laughs> Guys, 13 plus chance. <laughs> what? Dude, I dodged all the fire. Wait, everybody's right here. When you actually get mods and mod checks aren't jokes. Hey, who wants to be a mod? Chap one. Just kidding. I'm not getting mods until I can pay them. Okay, since I got second, I will do one more. I don't like any of these. I'll do one more race. One more. Oh my god, that was it. Holy.
Dude, I'm so excited for those cookies. After this race, I can finally eat them. Because I, I bought them yesterday, right? So I've been like... Because my sister, she tried the lemon ones last night. And she was like, can you have the rest of mine? I was like, no, I have to save it for a dream. Because it's a blind react. And <laughs> Bowser scares me for real. Oh my god, is that Ernie? Not, not me stealing Geo's joke. Uh, Bowser's too big for me. I don't like, I don't like bears, okay? <laughs> is that cannon, man? It's gotta be. Okay, wait, everybody hold. I'm not gonna talk. Everybody chat amongst yourselves, say something funny, and try to distract me, okay? I'm gonna try hard. I I can maybe clutch here. <laughs> no, I'm so dumb! Yeah, share your story, Kim. Wait, where'd my boomerang go? I went to the gym and fell off the Stairmasters. Did everybody laugh? I really hope somebody filmed you and then reposted it. <laughs> Cause you ever see like the Jim Fails compilation videos? Imagine Kim gets famous. Dude, I would've filmed it. Okay, I actually threw. That first boost cost me the raise. Oh my god, I'm... Guys, I'm ending stream. I can't do this anymore. I'm never streaming again. Okay, something I've thought about is with a lot of small streamers, not a lot of people stream consistently. Like, sometimes they'll not keep up with their schedule. I know I it's been harder for me recently. But how many of you guys would have watched if I took, like, a three-month break? Not saying I'm going to, because that's just going to kill your channel, but... It's kind of sad whenever you see, like, small creators take breaks for that long. And I feel like a lot of people take breaks because they can't keep up with it. But I don't think I'll ever take a break for that long. Wow, I got ninth. <laughs> I'd be married with kids by then in three months? You think you're gonna progress that quickly and you're... Huh? The story times are going crazy yet. Imagine if I... Should I do one more? I'll do one more. The catching up title will go crazy yet. Imagine I don't stream for three months and then my first stream back is... I'm back. And then I have zero viewers. <laughs> it is... <laughs> It's just really- my main point with that- bringing that up was I think it's sad. Cause like you want to give smaller creators and smaller streamers a chance, right? But it's kind of hard to. That's why like a lot of smaller streamers don't get donations. That's why a lot of smaller streamers don't have a lot of chatters. Um, it's because it's not a guarantee that they'll keep making content. Hopefully we're touching something else. Ew! I hate this track. What if I just say one more race, one more race for another hour, guys? Can I do that? Is that a good bit? I feel like I bring this up all the time, but... My chat room is fairly active for somebody of my size, right? Which is really nice. It's a very rare occurrence. But it just shows that I was able to bring people together. 
and cultivate a good chat room. <laughs> I feel like we'd message you on Twitter and be like, where are you at? And then I would reply, your mom's house, and then block you. Smile. Wait, I'm in first? Wait. Stream ends when I get first. Hashtag real, hashtag not with bait. I mean, seriously, the only reason I would have to quit stream is if I had a real job. Wait, I'm in why am I in first? Try, Baku. Oh my god, they're gonna snipe me. No, please, just give this to me, please. think I would get first that was crazy wait what did you guys say oh yeah emote only chat can everybody give me hype emotes because I just got first okay first non sub to type in chat type and I will gift you a sub first non sub oh my god lemon wait did I get first yes I did See, one more race, everybody. One more, one more hit, one more slide with the gambling machine, and you will win. Yay! Damn it, check, it's two subs for me today. Guys, I'm broke. Can we get, can we get some, um, uh, Amazon Prime subs, please? Damn, I legitimately did not think I was gonna place. I was surprised. Yes, I do have two laptops and two phones, everybody. When you gift on your alt, does it give you some money back? Kind of. I mean, when I gift on my main, it still counts because... Um, Twitch staff, close your ears. When you- well, anytime you donate to a streamer through Twitch, so like through bits or subscriptions, Twitch keeps a cut of it, right? So even if I gift myself subs, I still get a portion of that $5 back. But then a portion of it goes to Twitch, so I'm still like, losing money. So if you want to support your streamer, you can do so however you like. But the best way, if you want your streamer to get a bigger cut, you can just donate to them directly. But gifting subs is fun! Okay, it's processing. There we go. Oh my god, does Lemon have a sunflower badge now? Wait, Lemon, type in chat, type in chat. <clears throat> yeah, Lemon has a sunflower badge. That's so cool. Nice. How many sunflower chatters do we have now? I think we have Lemon. I think we have like five or six. Nice. Yeah, it does look good with their yellow chat color. Damn. Can we get some Weesons in chat for peace and art? Gifting to the channel once again. Um, you should follow the art channel. It's pinned in the title. And also go follow my social media, because I will be launching. Um I will be launching 
the website next month for the paintings. You can buy one of these. Or maybe, because when the website launches, I will be doing a giveaway. So maybe you can win one of these for free. Okay, everybody. My stomach hurts because I am hungry. I... Oh, it's 1.30. It's like an hour and a half past my, like, lunch time. That's why... I, I was sitting here playing, and I was like, oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> yeah, a free painting? Ain't no way. Um, when did I talk about it? I think I talked about it during a different stream. But for the giveaway, I will be giving away one painting and then two $50 gift cards. So make sure, keep posted, I will be, I'll make sure to tell you guys here, and then also on the art Twitter. So once again, once again, go follow the art Twitter. I can't believe I got first. I was taking so many L's. Oh wait, Max earlier said I should play coffee talk. Okay, no leaks, no leaks. <gasps> Maybe those games might be coming to you. <gasps> no leaks. Audio listeners in shambles right now. <clears throat> okay. It's been five minutes. You guys are free. I'm actually starving. I've been waiting for this all day. You guys are free. Okay, let me get some music on for everybody. The, sun <laughs> the sunflower song. I hate that song, honestly. It's so annoying. Well, let's do a Nintendo show. Why is it so loud? Sorry, I'm sorry. Headphone users, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is this a- is this a good level of- Is this good? I'm sorry. It's great. Okay, thank you. Can somebody redeem sing a song? I haven't sung a song in like two weeks. It makes me sad. Okay, everybody. We are going to do another honest hashtag not an ad, hashtag not sponsored crumble tasting. <clears throat> so today, <laughs> the plan is simple. Okay, so yesterday I had to do errands and there happened to be a crumble nearby that I didn't know. And I told myself I would only do a crumble review on stream again is if they had like a good selection of flavors. I personally, I love cream flavors. I love fruit flavors. I don't like chocolate cookies. I don't like chocolate cake. To me, it tastes fake. But this week they had a pretty good lineup. So... Doja's streams are so weird because like she doesn't know how to stream and I was watching one where she was doing um I watched like 10 minutes of it because I just couldn't handle it because she was playing wait I need to look at the crumble flavors so that way I can pin it um where she was playing pressure washer simulator and the game audio was so low it was so wait is it unavailable Did I mess up? Wait. Hold. Singing is sold out. I think I just didn't re-enable it. Oh, let me fix it. Oh, I have it. Okay, it's unpaused. I That's literally the only one that I had unavailable, sorry. Oopsie. Yeah, it's so funny when she streams. It's so bad. I saw that. No, I didn't leak anything. It was just my creator dashboard, so nothing crazy. Imagine I leaked my income. I will see you soon. Thank you. Okay, let me pin the flavors first, and then I will do it. These I do again. Why would she play that game? It's a very relaxing game. Not gonna lie. I would I don't think I could enjoy it myself because I 
I like games that have really good progression, and it's a game where you just kind of play it to, play it to pass the time, and I don't like it. Dude, I was wondering why nobody was redeeming for like two weeks, and it's just because I had it disabled. Cringe. How do you spell cheesecake? Will you ever play cleaning similar? No, I don't. I don't want to do a wife RP. Okay, the flavors are pinned here. Okay. Now, I get to sing a song for chat. Now, I gotta make sure it's muted. Wait, let me see if I can find the lyrics on here. That way I don't have to pull up on my computer. Because I want to try a song that I haven't sung on the stream at all. <clears throat> I'm not... No, we do not need another person to advocate for what. Please. Please. Wait, is Mac going to stream? Mac, um, hit me up. I want to review everything. I don't want you to have a shitty first stream. Okay. So... I need to move these. Imagine I drop the box. How good of a clip would that be? <laughs> okay, so everybody, I'm gonna sing a song because somebody used their channel points. Um, I have a playlist of all the other songs I've sung on stream. Okay. So, I'm gonna try and sing... Starry Eyes by The Weeknd. This is, I think, one of the transitional songs in his most recent album. And I hadn't heard it in a long time, but I listened to it the other day. And I think it's really pretty. I'm going to try to do the first verse and then the final verse. I can't do the center parts because the range is a bit too much for me. So everybody, if you could spam your favorite animated, your favorite hype emotes in the chat, that'd be great. <clears throat> okay, you guys are ready? I only met you in my dreams before When I was young and alone in the world You were there when I needed someone To call my girl And now you're my reality And I wanna feel you close But you're defeated, baby Broken, hurting Suffering from a shattered soul Okay, that's the first verse. I want to try the last verse. And you can kick me and kick me to the curb. It's okay, babe. I promise that I felt a worse. And back then I was sorry, I. But now I'm so cynical. And baby, break me and kick me to the curb. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Was it good? I haven't practiced it a lot, but I like it because I usually go deep, and I think it's really pretty when I sing deep. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Oh my god, hi hacker, VIP in chat. A shattered soul oh, 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 oh. What would have been better? You always make the same joke and it's never funny. It's never gonna be funny. Okay. <laughs> you know what I have? A knife for the cookies. Okay. Let's get some Nintendo music on. <laughs> okay, today reset. I bought the best flavors from this week's line of crumble cookies. So, the flavors I chose to purchase. They didn't have regular chocolate chip, which I think is my personal favorite. But well, look at this. Okay, let's not drop it. They have lemon drop, which looks kind of icky. It literally... It has a bunch of white glaze on it, not goo, it's glaze. Um, sea salt toffee, which they sprinkled to uh, salt on before they served it. 
regular sugar, sugar, which I got from my sister, and then strawberry cheesecake. This one smells delicious. I'm probably spitting all over these. But it smells so good. Okay, the only thing I don't like about crumble, I personally love an undercooked cookie. I love a doughy cookie. But crumble is so freaking expensive. I bought seven cookies and it was $30, $35. So about $5 per cookie. And that was walking in and ordering. And okay. When I walked in, because I've never gone physically and store to a crumble. I've only gotten delivery. And when I walked in, the music was bad loud. Like it was like I was in the fucking club, okay? And then there were two workers. And you could tell they were like kind of agitated because I went in at like noon on a monday so it's oh it's their first day open that's probably why they're pissy <laughs> but i asked them i was like do you guys take cash tip and then they were like yeah and i was like okay so they took my order and then they boxed my thing and then as they were handing me the box i handed the girl like a 20 dollars bill and okay if you worked in service 20 dollars is a really good tip okay 20 dollars out of 30 that's literally a over almost 80 percent tip right so i handed her 20 literally unfazed she didn't say thank you she didn't say anything she wasn't like oh my god 20 dollars it was just like put it in her pocket and then kept walking away and i was like okay dude i would lose my mind if somebody gave me a 20 dollar bill throwing money around well okay the way i see it because like tip money if it's like cash it's not usually like taxed or whatever so it's like i don't care And, like, you guys gave me money last week, so basically that $20 is just what you guys gave me, so. Okay, well, let's, let's eat. <laughs> I'm not rich, guys. I just I just had to um, tap into my savings. Okay. I didn't cut them, so I'm going to use a knife. The, the brand is called Pioneer Woman. Which is exactly what I am. I would smash someone if they gave me a $20 tip. Um, mods, roll the clip where I say I will do a lot of things for $20. Uh, I, sh I wish we don't have a butcher knife in this house because we didn't buy a knife set. We just, um, our neighbors gave us knives, like family friends gave us knives. And then the previous, um, oh shit, I just stabbed through the box. <laughs> and then the previous like tenants had a knife set that they left behind so this is their knife set all the knives are kind of dull and literally as i was cutting what was i cutting yesterday oh i was cutting kale like i was chopping it and then i cut off a part of my nail my mom watches pioneer woman like it's a job wait it's a show what Yeah, I think tipping should be more normalized. But then, also, shouldn't be people be paid enough to where they don't need tips to survive? Controversial, but true. Yeah, right now I'm cutting the cookies in half and then into quarters. I was gonna prep this for stream, but then I was like... But then you guys can't see the whole cookie. I would smash someone if they call me smart. Well, I'm gonna call you... D-U-M. <laughs> it's a cooking show? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, conspiracy. I feel like all cooking shows are designed to make you buy a product. Because you ever watch, like, MasterChef, and they're like, Oh, you should buy these MasterChef branded pens. Okay, I'm cutting the strawberry cheesecake just in half because I know I'm going to like it. Okay, I'm licking my finger, don't look. Oh my god, the icing on the cheesecake is delicious. Okay. Blind taste test. I'm gonna try the one that I'm least excited for. Because there's toffee, lemon drop, and then strawberry cheesecake. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, follow. It's free and you get cool emotes. Where I forgot to plug it earlier. Okay, I'm gonna try my least favorite, the lemon. So, this one... Let's get a close-up. It's covered in glaze and it also is topped with poppy seeds and what i found interesting about this one is that it, it's filled with i assume like a lemon curd which i have no idea how they do this because it's like in the cookie 
usually when you have like jams, you put it on top. But it's in the cookie. Yes, we know what the glaze looks like. 13 plus chat. Your least favorite is lemon. You're my favorite chatter, but my least favorite cookie is lemon. I'd rather have like a raspberry or blueberry. It does look cool. But it does not... It, it looks like eggs. Shut up. Don't. Don't do that to me, please. Okay, first bite. Oh, this was the cookie my sister said smells like socks it doesn't does the regular like base like cookie dough smells like play-doh and that's fine it doesn't taste like play-doh so i don't care but it's good it i would i wish there was like more lemon because just like that little bite all the lemon curd is gone i wish there were more lemon I accidentally made an egg with a runny yolk the other day and I was grossed out. No, runny eggs are so good this morning. I made, um, semi... I guess I made medium boiled eggs because I want to try and make egg salad for my lunch, for my dinner prep for this week. And it was so good. A jammy egg is literal perfection. Okay, I'm gonna have a bite. I don't know if you can see, but the glaze is really thin. It doesn't really add much. It's just like adding texture rather than taste. And I personally love poppy seed muffins, but I wish this had more poppy seeds. This looks like freckles. It does not look like it's drowning in poppy seeds. It's Wait, what is the flavor called? Um, pin message? Yeah, the, the cookie is called Lemon Poppy Seed Mac. Look at the pin message. You know, if you would take an interview and you have poppy seeds, you might test positive on a drug test. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Pop I love poppy seeds. I like the texture of seeds. The only seeds that kind of scare me now are raspberry. Because a few years ago... I ordered a raspberry smoothie from a non-disclosed coffee shop and I took a sip and it was really crunchy and as I was walking away from the booth I was like mm, these seeds are really crunchy and then I dumped out the drink after I drank like half of it and I noticed there were these clear pieces at the bottom of the cup and then I looked at it closer and I realized they were pieces of glass so I literally drank glass thinking they were seeds and for a while, I couldn't eat anything that had seeds in it, like anything crunchy, because I was like, oh, is it glass? But yeah. I like the texture of seeds now, but it took me a while to, like, like it again. Huh? Yeah, it was crazy. I went back to the store, they literally gaslit me. Lemon cookie? Alright. It's alright. Did you go back, yeah? <laughs> yes, I did snitch. My dad was the ultimate snitch, though, because I went back. Because the problem was, I couldn't go back right away because I had a work shift. Because I got the drink right before I started work. At, like, 7 a.m. And then... I went back to go file a complaint at, like, 11 during my 10-minute break. And it was the same lady who served me. It was actually the manager I found out later. And... She was like... So I was like, hey... Because I, I brought back the cup and then the, a little baggie with a piece of glass in it. I was like, hey, I found this at the bottom of my cup. I think it's glass. I did drink some. I was like, I just wanted to tell you because um, I just want to make sure like this doesn't happen to anybody else. Because the problem was, I think what happened, because they had their espresso machine right over the ice bin. So what I assume happened was like maybe the little espresso glass fell into the ice bin. And that's because that, that's the only glass they had in the store from what I could see. So, yeah. And I went back, and she was like, do you want a refund? I'm like, no, I don't want a refund. I don't have my receipt anyway. Because I was like, in my, because like, I will always think of like the food safety aspect. I don't give a fuck about like, missing out on $5, okay? I don't care. I just don't want anybody else to eat fucking glass. And, and she's like, okay, if you don't want a refund, it's okay. And I was like, okay. And then I walked away. Like, okay. If a customer came to me and said they ate glass... I would be like, do you need medical attention? Do you need an ER? 
Or do you need an ambulance? That'd be the first thing I'd fucking ask. But she didn't. Which... As the manager, what? Huh? And then... I got home and I told my dad. And he's like, oh my god, that's crazy. So then he tried to call, like, the corporate office. He tried to call, like, the managers in the store. And he called the location I went to and he talked to the manager. And the manager said, oh, there was nothing in her drink. She literally didn't talk to me. And it's like, what? Looking back, I wish I would have, like, filmed it or, like, recorded audio or something. Because the manager literally called, or when we called her, said, oh, yeah, that didn't happen. That didn't happen at all today. And it's like, what? Crazy. Oh, bye, Crystal. <laughs> Adds flavor? No, it's not. It's not good. Yeah, and when we called the corporate office, they said, oh, nothing of the like happened today. It's like... And then I went to the hospital later in the night because... Because we were initially going to go to urgent care because... I didn't feel sick at all, but we just wanted to get x-rays done. So we were like, oh, we're going to go to urgent care. And we called urgent care. They're like, oh, you need to go to the ER right now. Because depending on how big the glass can be, it'll like potentially cut your internal organs. But thankfully, I only had like little tiny shards. So when they did x-rays, nothing came up in like my lungs or my intestinal lining. And they were just like, okay, um, just hope you can shit them out and they don't cut your asshole. And I was like, okay. But thankfully, I was fine. I was, because like, I was crunching on the glass in my mouth, thinking it was seeds. So thankfully, any glass I did consume was tinier than the shards that were in the cup. <laughs> like, I literally grounded glass in my mouth. I was an IRL tumbler. I would not have the will to continue. Well, it, you know what's crazy? It happened on the day before Halloween. So I deadass thought it was a prank. But why would the manager prank me? Weird. And I worked at the store, like, next door to her, so why the fuck would she do that? Anyway, after that happened, she literally never got food from us again. <laughs> That's so scary. Yeah, you know, I, I've gone through a lot of trauma. Anyway, sea salt toffee, everybody. This one looks like it has toffee-flavored chips. It also has a dash of salt that I saw her shake on. This one I was the most excited for. Because I love butterscotch. I love not chocolate chips. I, I love anything that's not chocolate chip. So, first bite. It's very underdone. But I love a raw cookie. It's the same, like, base dough that they use in the chocolate chip. So it's good. Kind of play doh but whatever. I think the sea salt is a bit much. Because, like, it's like the big flaky sea salt. So the salt flavor is very overwhelming. But it's still really good. This piece... Sorry. This piece... Let's see if it'll glisten. This corner right here. You can kind of- it's glistening like a little bit. It looks like caramel. It looks delicious. I didn't get a caramel piece in this bite. Why does it look so wet? It's- it's because it's crystallized sugar, so that bit probably has caramel in it. It's crazy thick, just like your mom. Okay, I like this one. I feel like these would taste, like, a lot better. Like, if I ate them yesterday or if I bought them today. But it's still good. Cookies, cookies are good for a while, usually. The cookies are huge. Yeah, they're insane. That's why they're usually underdone. It's very difficult to bake large. Because cookies can't be baked for too long. Because since they're smaller, they can be in the oven for maybe max 15 minutes, depending on what type you make. So when you make larger cookies like this, the center is usually always going to be underdone. Yeah, I hate hard cookies. Thank you for saying caramel, right? How should I say caramel? Caramel or caramel? I think, I think caramel is like the American way of saying it, right? Oh my god, it is like caramel. It's toffee. Oh, what's it called? You know those, like, little toffee candies? 
that are like this and have the wrapper on the ends that kind of look like Tootsie Rolls. It tastes like that. It's good. Oh, here's a piece of toffee. Oh, it's crispy. I like Heath bars a lot. Because I kind of like the feeling of having candy stuck in my teeth. Yeah, it's just toffee. I don't know what those candies are. I see them at the dollar store all the time. I don't know where they're called. Because I had some, like, in my snack drawer, but then they melted during summertime, so I had to toss them. Because what happened was, I, because I kept food in my room previously, in my, at my parents' house, right? And, um, I had a whole bunch of ants in my room because of all the snacks I had. Okay, this one, I am the most excited for. This is the strawberry cheesecake. It's insanely thick, almost an inch in height of the actual cookie, and it is very undone. <laughs> it is very undercooked. It's very crumbly too. Yeah, you can cut. It's very underdone. It's raw, baby. I thought it was a watermelon. A watermelon flavor does sound good, though. Okay, first bite. It's very heavy. <laughs> Now, I first, this is my dream cookie. I love cheesecake. I love strawberry. It's probably gonna have a graham cracker base. Dude, it's so good. I love cream cheese icing. The strawberry jam is nice. And it's not like too strawberry. Because I don't like strawberry I don't like any jam where there's like clumps of fruit. This is good. I did buy two of these just for me. <laughs> because I knew I'd like it. I wish it was less cookie though. Because when I took a bite, it was way too much like dough. This would be good if I had like double the layer of frosting. Like if you look at the ratio. It's like a quarter frosting and then three quarters dough. This one is good. Okay, to review. My least favorite, probably the lemon. It was really crumbly. The lemon was good, but not enough lemon. And like the icing didn't add enough texture. The toffee one, pretty good. It's the same flavor as the regular chocolate chip, but it just has like butterscotch chips and then toffee. Sea salt was a bit much. I think it's because I'm not a fan of like salt and caramel. I don't I don't like salt and caramel at all. And then finally, the strawberry cheesecake. Good. The best. I love cream cheese icing. I, I'm gonna eat this all. I'm gonna eat the other one too, probably. Are you gonna keep the rest for your roommates? Yes, I am. Um I will I will keep the toffee and the strawberry one for myself though. Are you eating these without milk? Con contrary to popular belief, I hate cookies with milk. Because I usually like- I like wet bread, like I like dipping soup with bread, right? But wet cookies? I don't like it. I think it's because I like a softer cookie, so when you add milk to a soft cookie, it makes it way too soft. But milk, I think, is only good with hard cookies. Can I have a cookie? No, because shipping a cookie to the- I almost said UK. You're not from UK. From to Europe will be a bit much. No, I don't like milk with Oreos either. I don't like milk with cookies at all. Now that now that I think about it, I think I only have one viewer who's from Washington State, but I don't know which part. And you guys don't know what part I live in either. Yeah, I'm gonna wash my hands. Oh 
Oh my god, imagine how good the strawberry cheesecake cookie would be with like a scoop of ice cream. That'd go crazy. <laughs> okay, so cumulative review of this week's crumble cookie, Lana. Pretty good. Not their best, but pretty good. I think the last time I had crumble on stream was... It was sometime during fall time, I think. Okay, everybody. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for another ad break because we are three hours in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you if you're new here, follow the channel. You get to type a chat and get cool emotes for free. And if you want to avoid that ad, I go to do subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your copy and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link it as a prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a prime sub available after the ad. We're going to do calligraphy. So anybody who donates or uses their channel points will get their name written. Nice nails, thank you. Okay, ad is running. How's Crumble? Pretty good. Not their best lineup, but still pretty good. Okay, I'm getting... I forgot to get my journal. Thank you for redeeming, Mac. I would like the lemon one that didn't have the... It was not sesame, as poppy seeds. <laughs> Dude, imagine they put <laughs> sesame seeds. Hey, can you guys put actual fucking colors? In the redemptions, you guys put emojis or hi, and it's annoying, okay? Put an actual color. I'm serious. Okay. Okay, so today, we had... Titans with five gifted, and then Mac with two gifted, and Peace and Art... Who is that? Um, click the at in the title. <clears throat> okay, let's actually remember to do five gifted and rainbow. Did you guys have fun today? I had a lot of fun. And since we did hit our sub goal earlier, I will be doing a sub- Oh, wait. Titans isn't here. Okay, Mac, would you prefer an art stream, calligraphy, or Stardew Valley today? I forgot to ask Titans. Because whoever donates gets to choose. <laughs> this is a lot of power. Honestly, I want to do calligraphy. I want to do calligraphy. You can choose our channel calligraphy stream or sub only Stardew Valley here in about an hour. But if I do calligraphy, then I can end and then start right away. Because um, with streams on the same channel, you have to allow an hour break in between. Otherwise, it fucks up your analytics. Art? Yes! Yes, I was gonna do a calligraphy stream yesterday, but I had a boatload of errands to do. So, yay! 
Yeah, I'll, I'll take I'll take like a 30 minute break. Yeah, yeah I've been wanting because like I think the art channel streams are nice because I there's like no pressure for me to like I guess be more extra on cam. So I feel like I can let loose a little more, you know what I mean? And then I can wear my wife beater tank top and not get in trouble for showing my arms. Going to the gym? Okay. BRB? Okay. Yeah, don't fall again, Kim. <laughs> yes, yeah, so everybody. Um, since Mac helped unlock the sub goal stream, follow my art channel. It's at peace in underscore art. Let me actually shout it out. If everybody follow it, please. We do bonus streams there sometimes. Um, click the banner in chat, follow right in the chat room. It's free, it's easy. Click the banner, everybody. Thank you, Lemon. Dude, everybody's names look so pretty in rainbow. So nice. Okay. I will ask once again, what should we do for my birthday stream? Right now we have make a cake with a grocery store cake. Banger idea. Thank you, Kobobu. What else should we do? Oh, Mario Kart tournament, of course. Maybe we can do Mario Kart Teams tourney. No, I'm not dancing on stream. I'm not showing my ass on stream. Nice try, Mac. I knew you were a coomer. <laughs> Because I think you can do battle mode, and then also when you're regularly racing, you can do teams. Just Dance? I don't want to get DMCA'd. I want to do a Just Dance stream, like a one-off stream, but then the VOD would be unusable. You can still get claimed sometimes on Twitch. Oh my god, thank you for the follow! Plus one! Thank you! Would you give VIP to everybody on the winning team? Yes. Yes, I would. No joke. It depends on how many people race, though, because if we don't have, like, eight people racing, then it's kind of cringe. So, guys, tell everybody I'm doing a birthday stream April 24th, uh, Monday. Guys, can we get a thousand viewers for my birthday stream? <laughs> Dude, imagine. Then the teams have to be balanced? No, I want all the good people on my team. No, don't- don't bot my channel, it's cringe, you get banned. By Twitch. No, I don't want to be a max team, I think max is kind of mid. Just cross your fingers you don't get Cole Bobo on your team. <laughs> Wait, I don't think we've seen Kim race, so we don't know if they're good or not. I think Keelan is pretty good. They've only raced one time and they did pretty well. I will carry on God on good. <laughs> no, I want Hacker and Keelan on my team. Unless Kim is, like, actually good. Why well, didn't add the flowers, then? Sorry that the camera's moving. It shouldn't be moving. Yeah, we're talking about Mario Kart. <laughs> okay, I wish I could do IRL streams. But I don't want to leak. Like, it'd be different if I could drive, then I could drive, like, a ways away from me, right? 
But I think in order to do IRL streams of good, you need to have another personality on, on screen. So I would need to have a friend. I don't know how many friends. I am stream yelling at- No, I did not yell at the crumble lady. Another thing about the crumble people, they didn't change their gloves between handling money, the register, and food. So that's kind of bad. But they were like in a pissy mood, so I didn't want to bother them. <laughs> I mean, you stream- I mean, lives too far away from me. She lives like across the state from me almost. Eating with Mac? Is Mac gonna fly to New York? Is Mac gonna fly me out to New York? Dude. <laughs> Eating your mom? What? 13 plus chat, everybody. 13 plus chat. No, I'm serious. If I ever become a mega millionaire socialist, I will fly everybody out and we can go to Cheesecake Factory together, everybody. No joke. Quote me on. Clip it. Have you done a stream with somebody else before? Um, not IRL. Because the only person who's kind of close to me is Cutely, but she's going back and forth between here and California, so... And then... What you call it? You guys are not ready for the birthday stream. I have the best bit planned. You guys are not ready. Um, but I've never done an IRL or having somebody come over to do, like, a collab stream. The only, like, collab stream I've done was I did the fast food tier list with Cutely a while ago. I would like to do, like, one-on-one -on -one collab stuff, but the issue with collabs, I've, I've talked about this many times. But it doesn't showcase your personality as much, your community doesn't like it. Um... And if you're gonna do a collab stream, I think you should only be broadcasting on one channel. Then we can focus on one chat room instead of two. We can collab? Why? What would I gain? You would just leech off of me like you already do. Mac, how many flowers did you get today? One? <laughs> My humor? Just because you're funny, quote unquote, in the chat room doesn't mean you're funny RL. Okay? Guys, am I funny? Trap one. Mac got two whole followers. See, I told you they're leeching. They've been watching for almost a year just to leech off of my clout. You have eight followers? Oh no. I remember those days. Plus eight. Sorry, uh, fuck. Dude, I literally posted a TikTok clip of me talking about how follower count is not important. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it takes a long time to reach 50 followers on Twitch. There's a very easy way to gain 50 by just saying like, Oh, I'm a new streamer. You should go check out my channel. And then everybody follows you because they guilt you. But then you don't actually get genuine viewers. So, don't feel sad. Don't feel bad if you don't hit 50 followers quickly. Um, everybody, Titans for the five gifted. Holy moly! In the offline chat. And then Mac with two gifted. Thank you, guys! Yeah. Dude, I said this earlier, but I'm so scared of, like, the upcoming weeks of my TikTok clips. Because all of my Mario Kart clips, like, the next 20 I have edited, are from a challenge stream that I did in November. Or no, that I did in October where I had to stay in last place for a whole lap and then try to get first during lap two and lap three. So during the majority of the clips, I'm just in last the whole time. <laughs> and I feel so bad. Ah. It's so bad. Um, mods, I think Mac is self-promoing right now. Isn't that against the rules? Yeah. 
Thank you for redeeming, Chris. You were here the whole time, hanging out. Thank you for hanging out today, Chris. You like the color? Wait, I didn't cross the T. I, I chose this color because apparently girl in red means you're gauge. What's your favorite social media site? Mm. I'd have to say Twitter. Even though Twitter is ass, I still like it the most. I think it's because with Twitter, you can choose to only look at tweets that you, of the people you're following, and then also, like, your recommended feed. Because I like keeping up with the creators that I like watching, or that I enjoy. And I think Twitter is the best place for that. But TikTok is pretty fun. I try not to do the doom scroll, but you know what happens occasionally. Thank you for redeeming, Kobobo. So many redeemers today, we love that. We love when people stall the stream. Yeah, Kim, or anybody, anybody. If you reply to anybody's tweets and your account is private, then nobody can see your replies. So, if you get sad that my favorite Twitter person is not replying to me, it's because you're on private. So, my dad is a Redditor? Oh, gotta keep an eye on him. <laughs> Kim tweeting into the void? Yeah, because like sometimes I'll see tweets and then it'll, it'll say like three replies. But I can only say one, or I can only see one, and I'm like, oh, they're probably private accounts. So, if you want people to see it, then just make your account public. It sucks, but just don't reply to shit you don't want people to see. Because most everything on Twitter is public, like your likes are public too, everybody. That's why I don't look at shit on my main Twitter. Just kidding, I don't have an alt account. I actually don't. I'm not kidding. I don't. Because the way I see it, with any social media, once you kind of, like, start having an alt account, then you're gonna, like, misbehave on it. And I don't think you should ever say anything on your alt that you wouldn't say on your main. We all know what alt Twitter means. Yeah, I don't have an alt. I don't have an alt. All, all, the only accounts I have is my art account, my main account, and then my clips account. I literally don't have an alt. No, I don't! It's kind of like how I don't have a second phone. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That was a joke. That was a bit. Yeah, and two laptops. I follow every single one. I thought you said you didn't have a Twitter hacker. Are you gaslighting me? Oh, except for Twitter. I was right. See, I remember shit. What an intense brown. I chose poop brown. <laughs> Does Kim put the cowboy emojis and the hats are brown? Sage green. <laughs> I love that. Matches your nails? Oh yeah, it does. Also, once again, I'm sorry I didn't stream on St. Patrick's. I just... 
I literally couldn't think of anything to do for holiday. Because <laughs> I was going to do like a Mario Kart every time I I drink, but with it's the, the slushy screen. But that again. But then I was like, nah. So then I was trying to think of like St. Patrick's Day flash games, and then I couldn't find any. I was like, ah. And then I got sad. <laughs> but maybe next year, next year. Kind of like how on Pi Day, I'll make a pie next year. Damn, it's been so long since I've written Lemon's name. I've missed it. Oh wait, do I still have the crumble thing? I'm unpinning that message. Lol. Um, new pin message, go look! Okay, we have two more names left. Two more. If you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is use your channel points or... Donate to the channel. Okay, that Z looks horrible, but ignore it, ignore it. Okay, final name, everybody, final name, so last call. If you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is use your channel points. Last call. done we are done okay so i would like to thank everybody for watching any chatters lurkers thank you all for hanging out today today was fun i had a lot of fun today hopefully you guys enjoyed your stay as well um since we hit our daily sub goal i will be going live on my art channel which is peace in underscore art on Twitch. I'll go ahead and link it in the chat room. You can click the banner in chat and follow there. Or for the VOD watchers, it's here in the linked chat. <laughs> no longer in emote only mode. Okay, I thought I had it in emote mode. I was like, oh. Sometimes I'll misclick. Okay, so I'll be live on that channel maybe in an hour-ish. You know, I'm gonna take a break. Get some more food. Maybe eat some more cookies. Because those crumble cookies are pretty good, honestly. Um, if you are following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. And I know Twitch notifications can be kind of finicky. So make sure you are following my Twitter. Because I usually do a go-live tweet every time I go live. Anything else I need to address? I might do the Meg Esports tournament on Sunday. If not, oopsie. We'll do it for sure on my birthday. Your family can't figure out what to eat. Um, rice and cheese is pretty good. Okay. I will see you guys later tonight and for the regular Peace and 70 Frogs. I'll be live tomorrow, hopefully. With a Mori. <laughs> I never miss a stream, I swear, Kappa. Okay, bye everybody, bye. Wait, I'm, I'm I'm muted. I'm I'm live. <laughs> so I I can't type.
Okay, there. Uh, not subs get boomed. Bye, Kim. Bye, Mac. Bye, Hacker. Bye, Kobo. Bye, Lemon. Man, I didn't realize we had seven subs and then two for peace and art. Plus nine, everybody. Okay, seriously, give me, like, ideas for the birthday stream. Like, seriously. Or that's what you guys can ponder for a while. Because I gotta fill 12 hours. And I don't want it to be boring. Okay, no leaks. No, wait, I don't want to leak. <laughs> I have a really good idea for one bit of the birthday stream, but I actually, I don't want to leak it. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> Order McDonald's? Maybe. But I want like real food for my birthday. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get Booger King. Nuh uh. Oh boba might be good. But I'm already gonna be zooted on the cake. You know, I don't want to have too much sugar and then crash, like, eight hours in. Because I don't, I don't think I've done a stream longer than, like, ten hours. And the only ten-hour stream I did was for painting. I don't know, I'll keep thinking. <laughs> Fortnite? <laughs> what if I- okay, what if I RP'd in Fortnite, and, like, I RP'd as, like, a little five-year-old, and be like, It's my birthday today! Can we get a victory royale today for my birthday? <laughs> I'm such a good bit. The VCs are scary. Oh, you know what else is scary? Ending stream. Bye. I'll be live on our channel soon. Bye.